Alrighty, folks. What the heck is happening? What's up, because how you doing the soundtrack? This the soundtrack is really good to this game. I still prefer Planco's. But but Ooh. Green screen. I'm taller than my green screen. What hit? Um, but I think it's because I haven't heard much of the Planet Coaster. Planet oh, it's Planet Zoo. I think it's because I haven't heard much of the Planet Zoo. <laughs> I think it's because I haven't heard much of the Planet Zoo uh, soundtrack as I've been playing the beta these last two weeks. Um, they probably would have been really low, but I the soundtrack doesn't play that much for me. <laughs> like when I'm just playing and stuff, it barely. I feel like it barely plays. But if it does, it, it must just be like. I have a soundtrack. But I'm just like. Not all! And I can't hear you. Palsley, what's up, buddy? You're here the wreck today, but you're not first, so mission unaccomplished. <laughs> so, but yeah, so for those of you that don't know, or maybe you're just stumbling upon, like, what's going on? We're gonna play Planet Zoo for the last day until we get a full release version of it in about a month. I think, what is it? We have like 40 something days in between there. So, um, yeah, so what are we gonna do? We're not gonna have Planet Zoo to play for a month. I guess we got to play that other game. Mm. That other planet game? Planet Skylines? No, Planet Prison? No, Planet uh, Fish Simulator? No, Planet Coaster. Yeah, that one. I guess we'll have to, uh, we're gonna have to wrap up all the stuff in Planet Coaster. If you haven't really watched much um, the last few weeks as we've been doing Planet Zoo and wondering what's going on with Planet Coaster, probably going to be wrapping up most of our planet coaster series um except for like luna wood and maybe coal creek park because i i kind of want it's that park i started it may as well finish it it's basically done but other than that we're going to wrap up all the other series and i'm just going to release them y'all can take them oh god but of, of course because has some something held he said something naughty hey wendy how's it going oh he just said fuck you can say fuck you can even say fucking like he did um, you were never say yeah. For sandbox so I can spam a million blueprints. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna spam like I'm gonna have like a, a savannah with a million tigers and a million like Bengal tigers or lions and tigers and then rah, not really, I'm not that kind of YouTuber, so y'all can watch I don't know, someone else for that. <laughs> we like to do realistic stuff here. Ish. Um so yeah, but yeah, this again, um over the next month we'll maybe jump into like Zoo Tycoon, maybe one or two um but then yeah we're gonna wrap up um green hill zoo i'm just gonna put a cap on it and put it out for y'all to enjoy i'm even gonna put out no one ever watched this one a lot of the stream people may remember this but we're gonna i'm gonna put out um i don't even remember the name of it the secret oasis resort my disney slash universal resort with like two hotels and that's all i did i'm gonna release that too um but i'm gonna try and finish cold creek this next month i'm really gonna half-ass it and um yeah yeah, you know, so, um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into, and then yeah, of course, Druton Tower, absolutely. Moen, Mr. Domus, how you doing? Uh, so sad. I just, you know, we might, there'll still be some Planet Coaster, but a lot of it, like my my solo projects, they're going to be wrapped up. Um, but Luna Wood will still come out. Luna Wood's going to, we're going to wrap up Luna Wood here um, shortly, and then we're going to move into Luna Zoo. Um, but yeah, Druton Tower will go on, and then we're going to switch over Druton Tower into uh, Druton Zoo as well. So we're just going to kind of make that transition there over the next uh, little bit there. So cool, let's go ahead and jump into it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> that's Oh, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I did all the, all the fun stuff there. Um, so what are we going to do today? We're going to... Now we have until... I have, I have until 11 a.m. tomorrow with the beta. It ends at 5 p.m. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 p.m. Uh, BST. That is British Standard Time. So uh, for me, that's 11 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to try and do as much as I can. I'm going to get cinematics done. I'm going to try and, uh, today we're going to um, try and finish up the North American section. But to start us off, I figured we would just uh, do a kind of a... A little bit of a tour of the zoo just in case people haven't really um, been through the zoo and seen it um, or maybe you've uh, just found the channel and uh, whatever <laughs> stuff so cool let me go ahead pause the music over here boom nailed it see it's so funny I had the soundtrack on this whole time you couldn't even tell because it never plays ever unpause that's the button that's the one 
that I was looking for. Okay. So let's go ahead, yeah, let's walk through the zoo. So this is our entrance plaza here. What do you all want? You look a little con <laughs> No, go the other way. <laughs> no, you're right. No, go the other way. Oh, man. All right, so as you enter in here, it's pretty much going to be all the videos I've made just kind of in one now. <laughs> Live stream ends at 11 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. If I get... 100 100 subscribers per hour i will keep going how about that or five dollars in donations an hour we'll keep going <laughs> there make it worth everyone's time so um uh, but yeah here's the interest of thornton zoo here really like these uh paw sign prints and everything like that a lot of the that i did this week it was just trying stuff you know well, I think that's what pretty much everyone did. Like, everyone kind of had ideas of what they wanted to do. There was someone in there. Uh, but a lot of it was just kind of trying stuff up. Trying stuff up? Trying stuff out and uh, seeing uh, see what we can get away with. Jaunty was mentioning this today. Hopefully, y'all got to watch uh, Jaunty's stream there. Theme Wars, hey, looks, uh, thanks, bud. I appreciate that. Um, if y'all caught Jaunty's stream, he was talking about how someone asked him about uh, performance. And... Um, and he was uh, saying that it runs fairly well. And the same for me. I'm getting about 45 to 50 um, FPS right now. But every few minutes, it kind of, right there, it kind of just hangs a little bit. It just it just kind of pauses for a few seconds and hangs there. And I, I think that's just beta being beta. Um, I'll pay you $5 an hour will you stream for as long as I keep donating. <laughs> no, I won't put that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to um, extortion everyone. Chat. <laughs> you have to do it. Mainly because I'm actually scared about that. And this is probably the worst thing for a live streamer ever to say. But um, the last donation I got still hasn't processed through and I have no idea why. And I even, it, the person who did it was Mel and we talked like texting and like, she's like a buddy. And it like hasn't processed through. So I'm like all, I'm like all, uh, uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe the, the FBI is watching me. Always watching me. Coaster Tribe, what's up buddy? This could be an interesting challenge. So $65 total deal. Hey man, if I get half that, I can pay my rent today. And that's that's fucking fantastic, if I'm not gonna lie. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's our little entrance plaza. Again, if y'all if y'all haven't already, we do have an entire like YouTube series with this. Um, it's in my playlist. If you look at uh, Planet Zoo uh, Beta. Um, I don't know why this keeps going off, but it's been doing it for like, since last night. There's like a staff member confused. Anyways, yeah, um, Planet Zoo Beta has all this in like a speed build for the most of it and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, go through a little main plaza area here. Really fun just kind of messing with the uh, the pieces that we got in uh, for the new game here and everything. Took me a few days to kind of get my head wrapped around it. Um, someone like Paulsley or Jaunty or whatever, they were just like, here we go. <laughs> me, I'm a little bit different. Like whenever we got a new DLC pack for like um, Planet Coaster or something, I was always like, okay, so we have a roof and then there's a board, and then there's a skeleton, and I'm like, I take a few days because I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a slower person, you know, by choice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it took me a few days to get used to the pieces. Um, but once I did, I was like, okay, I get it. And now the beta is ending. I'm like, why? I, I'm used to the game now. We just have this. I don't think I did a video of this, but this is a zoo administration building. Oh, this is kind of fun. Actually, I, I totally ripped this off from Mass Bandit. He posted images. Um, or maybe even his video of his little uh, of a building he did that was similar to this. And I was like, you know what? I like that. I'm going to do that. Here's our greenhouse or conservatory. I don't know the difference between a greenhouse and conservatory. I feel as though they are one and the same. Like the conservatory is the structure and then the greenhouse is the interior of it. I don't really know. Um, I literally looked up the definition of it. And uh, it said a conservatory is a giant like glass building basically. So... <laughs> I, uh, I'm like dropped <laughs> because I'll totally take you up on that. Um, how am I like, I like it a lot. Um, haven't gotten to mess with it yet. Just getting back from, uh, the military actually. Well, hey, welcome back. Um, like back for good or back just on leave. And, um, did you buy the deluxe version uh, to get the beta coaster tribe? If so, you have about less than 12 hours, about 12 hours or so to uh, play it until it's done. So, <laughs> um, but no, I like it a lot. It's, it's fun. It's, um, I've been telling people if you like Planet Coaster, if you like zoos and you like, again, if you liked the way that Planet Coaster, um, played and you like zoos, you're going to like it. You're, you'll like it. Um, but here's our little, uh, greenhouse area full of, well, it used to be full of, now I think they all died because a lot of my animals just started dying because they didn't want to eat anymore. 
Beta gonna beta. Um, so yeah, we have a few uh, pea fowls in here. And a, and a peacock. It's right in front of you, y'all. I want you. Yeah, it's right there. But yeah, the animal designs are amazing. The animations are amazing. The game looks better. It performs better, from what I can tell. I can't give a full opinion on the builder because the builder is kind of messed up in this version. Like the grid gets really. It, it doesn't like it when you select multiple items and rotate them and like duplicate them. Then the grid like goes off by like a centimeter and it, it's funky, man. Um, but other than that, it's not bad. It's not. What? Is it locked down for a long time? Well, you know, it probably deserves it. So. Um, <laughs> all my animals go on lockdown all the time for some reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> um, can you give away CC points? No, you can. No, you can't. I wish you could. I don't agree with giving away cash, but I do agree with giving away um, Leafy's uh, conservation points. I think that would be fine. To do. I guess you can in a way um, because of releasing animals really cheap, but that's still not straight up points. Um, the animals expire too. <laughs> that's exactly what's going on, isn't it? Well, it actually kind of looks like there's no food as well. So maybe. Get over here. You're good for nothings. You're, you're right, fours. You're good for nothings. But yeah, here's our little, uh, here's our greenhouse again there. That was a really fun thing to build. Um, a lot of these are just regular building pieces that we got from it. Um, you know, new uh, building. These are all square pieces. It's definitely way oversized. I really didn't care about scale when I was building for this, uh, for the beta. It was more so just kind of, you know, I just wanted to get going and get building and stuff, right? So um back for a while good good but didn't get a chance to uh, buy the pre-order oh well if you just got back today man honestly you saved some bucks there um the other it, it was like with the pre the deluxe edition you got like um kind of like the same with the planet coaster one you got like the the soundtrack and i think like some art and i think you got three animals that other people won't get but i'm betting you that when they do the full release they'll take those animals and maybe put them in like a five dollar pack or like i don't know i'm i'm just guessing but i bet they put those animals that were included in the deluxe Maybe they separate them. So yeah, you're you're better off. Just uh, just catch it. There's a ton of YouTube content between my channel, Geekism, Mass Bandit, um, Paulsley. Paulsley has done some amazing stuff. Dude has freaking killed it these last two weeks. Um, definitely, yeah. Check out everyone's um, awesome stuff here. So oh, I skipped an entire thing. Yeah, this building has something in it, and I skipped out on it. So we should probably look at that. Woof. I know my own build. Um, so this is a, a, a giant primate house modeled directly off of the primate or the tropic world at the Brookfield Zoo in um, uh, uh, Chicago. That is. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look -see poo. Yes, a look -see poo. Mainly it was modeled after it was the structure itself. The insides, I kind of just um, did some wing in it and a lot of the different uh, resources. But yeah, we come on in. Unfortunately, there's going to be nobody in this part here because our lemur exhibit, which is right over here, the almost infamous, famous uh, lemur exhibit, now that uh, Jaunty gave the this area a little shout on his uh, lemur video, which is, uh, which is awesome. Um, yeah, here's our indoor lemur exhibit, which uh, is, is a lot different than a lot of other people's because a lot of people are building these, um, and they look amazing, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people are building these grandiose, you know, amazing, you know, islands and lakes and just all this amazing stuff. That's fantastic. I love that stuff. Um, but for me, a lot of the zoos that I've gone to, like the Lincoln Park Zoo, the Milwaukee Zoo, Madison Zoo, the Brookfield Zoo, a lot of these, you know, they're municipal funded, which like taxes, so they don't have all the money. And um, even if it's not sometimes a money thing, a lot of zoos are just like this, where it's a concrete area that's really easy to hose off, clean, easy access. And a lot of times what you, um, what these are, where the guests see animals, these are just enrichment areas for the most part. Um... It's not, the animals aren't going to sleep there overnight. They're maybe there for an hour, two hours, maybe all day, but a lot of them aren't there all day. Um, a lot of the times they'll go into like a, let's say there's a door here, and they'll go into a backstage area. And I plan on doing that when the full release comes out. I plan on making the, the whole backstage areas and stuff. But they put them in a different area than uh, than what you see here. So um, that was kind of like my wanting to take a quote-unquote realistic approach on the, um, the indoor exhibit there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm like a genius. <laughs> More simple than PC. It's it's the same. It's it's exactly the same. Um, you build like I intend to in the full game. Realiz realism over theme. Yes, yes. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, Katronica. Um, Katronica started putting out some videos too, which I didn't even know uh, there, Sarah, that you even had a, a Yub Tub channel. But yeah, Katronica started to put some uh, 
videos out there too so we're getting a lot of people out of the woodworks uh planet zoo is so um and then we kind of enter in this little transition zone here where we have our small exhibits so we are housing they're probably dead i'm, just, I'm not gonna lie i haven't come back here and filled up these areas in a while um we have our scorpion yeah it's empty it died it, did, it didn't die bad it just died because of old age <laughs> you know we're in year 57 so things oh the bird eater is here though how's he doing he should be doing really good. alert oh there's two of them one has a contraceptive okay i don't like let me alert that let's see if we can find them let's play a game called find that spider there's two of them in here so we actually have a pretty good shot at finding the spider there it is there's one someone was probably like no don't don't find don't oh shit you found the spider <laughs> there it is though one of our little bird eater build one giant pit and throw <laughs> uh first thing i plan on doing when the full release uh comes out is finding the new archer john t found um a pretty good one the uh the medium size or the small leaf whale for scale wait it's whale for scale is the new is what i think we determined the new um archer is there yeah whale for scale is <laughs> it's pretty close there you go i mean that's that's pretty spot on if you take off you know just a, a shaving of its forehead there yeah so whale for scale or <laughs> I don't even know what to do for the leaf one, but I think it's here. No, it's under, uh, it's under it is. the second leaf. The second leaf is pretty good. Actually, that's that's probably your best bet almost, I'd say. That's almost literally the, the height of it's right there. So the leaf, the there's a giraffe. Oh, it's under signs. <gasps> Excuse me. This giraffe isn't half bad. and um the original one yeah the whale for scale and i just like whale for scale because i can say whale for scale over it. but these three are, are relatively your closest bet right now now mind you this is beta they have held back a loads of, from what it looks like they've held back loads of uh, uh theming and scenery and items and stuff like that so um but yeah for now for the next you know 14 or so hours however long we have it there's your uh there's those are good scalings there so um i think i'll pick up videos for the four she said fun on, on the occasion yeah yeah it looks like you were having fun there oh hi puppers yeah i guess since the doggy's in here we have to do obligatory show show the dog show the dog let say hi yeah say hi I'm trying to green screen you know that Trying to cry. No, hello. <laughs> it's trying to chroma key you there, Murph. It's trying to chroma key you. <clears throat> we'll devour. Uh, oh yeah. Sounds like a new t shirt. Yeah, that's, that's a geekism one. That's a jaunty uh, quote right there. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and uh, finish out the rest of this. I realize I kind of stopped halfway through. Um, but yeah, so there's a little Madagascar hut. Um, and we then we pop down here to our little cave system. Nothing, uh, no animals or anything like that, just a few, you know, conservation stuff and all that. Um, Murphy, get out. Don't, don't. We just brought in our plants from outside and he hasn't had to deal with big plants and he's trying to eat them. Which is no good, we can't eat the plants. We can't eat the plants there, buddy. I might give you the poops. Uh, whoops, I just realized that. Sorry. <laughs> Let's start that over again. Uh, yeah, so you go from here inside your Madagascar area. There we go. Um, Mr. Doggy. Have you heard anything about being able to gift conservation credits to people? No, I haven't. I haven't. I have not heard that. For, would, uh, hey, Pippi, would, uh, would take on The Sims. I'd like to see what they could do with it. Um, have you heard of the Sims game that's coming out? Or the new, um, it's not by EA, but, uh, what is it called? Uh... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna find it real quick. Para Paralives or Yeah, Paralives. Have you all heard of Paralives? It's gonna be a Sims type uh game, basically. Let me type it out for you. Just in case you wanna look it up. Paralives. Yeah, it's gonna it looks like it's a, a Sims competitor and like finally. But I agree, it would be really cool to see what Frontier could do with a game like that for sure. Um but I've always wondered why there was never a competitor to uh to the sims there it's like really successful games usually have competitors and it's like no one has ever ever done it except for um, Maxis or ea 
The devil. <laughs> devil, devil, devil. Then we come through here, you got your waterfall, because duh. I mean, if you don't have a waterfall, do you even really have a zoo? Um, just quelling the rumors from people. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, Celia. What's up, buddy? Yeah, no, I hadn't, I hadn't heard that. I hadn't heard that. Come through here. We have another exhibit. Here's our boa. He should still be in here. Yeah, there he is. Pretty sure it was a deuterino. Yep. There's our deuter. He's got... How old are you now, man? You are, you are old timer in here. Or at least he was our old timer for a while. Yeah, he's like 40 years old. Actually, he's in his midlife. He's all good. He's in his midlife. About to go for well, welfare? Yeah, well, you know, that happens. Um, I'm just going to pause the game. <laughs> I'm tired of dealing with the animal welfare for right now until it gets balanced out. Um, went swimming. Nice, nice. What are the uh, conservation credits? Seems to be a popular topic. Oh, yeah. Um, so the way you buy things, there's two different ways. You can buy things like the actual um, building pieces and exhibits. Uh, I can just show you instead of just pointing at it. So, you know, your things here, you know, speakers or that. But if you want to get animals, and this is only in franchise mode now, uh, which is the only mode that was released with uh, the beta, because franchise mode is always online. At least this version is. Um, and you see here we have 757 conservation points. And basically, it's a big market. It's an open market um, to trade. And these are all, all these symbols right here. Like a real person is selling it. A real person is selling it. A real person is selling it. But Frontier also goes in and sells them. But yeah, you use these to openly trade. So, you know, let's say when we go up there, we're going to see our mandrills in just a second. Um, our mandrills, maybe they had a baby, like a big litter of babies. And we then sell them on the market, make leaves, and then we can buy more animals. So originally, franchise mode was only going to be online. That was the original plan. And then everyone was like, bruh, don't do that. Just don't. I don't know what the fascination is with simulation games. The feeling they, like they have to have a mode that's always online. But don't do that if you are a game developer of simulation. Don't do that. Nobody likes it. This is not a battle royale game. This is not a multiplayer shooter game. This is a simulation game. They're different. So yeah. Franchise mode's gonna be offline and online, then we'll get sandbox as well. That was my rant about that. Because I've noticed it a lot. Like ever since what was it? Like City Skyline or not City Skyline, like SimCity uh, 2013. Or Spore even. There's just been this big push to put simulation games online, and it's like, dude, you don't know your audience, obviously. Don't do that. <laughs> Let me come over here and um, yeah, you get a um, big reveal to our mandrel exhibit here. Um, and this was uh, <coughs> this was taken um, um, directly from the Tropic House at the uh, Brookfield Zoo. There's uh, um, an exhibit that's just like this for their uh, big apes. And, um, and it's awesome. I love it. I, whenever we go there, it looks amazing. So this was definitely modeled right after that. And you get to look down and... Kind of see all the uh, all the the mandrills. This is my favorite spot because you get to look over. Sometimes they're over here. Is that water poopy? Oh well. Um, sometimes you go over there and sleep, um, but most of the time they they kind of hang out over here or there. Uh, put it in with the spider. Yeah. Tigers loose on your two thousand population zoo. Well worth it for the last time on the beta. See, that's how you do it. That's how you end the, the beta, right? <laughs> the sub bra, dude. I hope. If no other blueprints transfer over, Supra has to be transferred over. Has to be. Um, that's in depth. It is. It is pretty in depth. I'll sell you a warthog for ten million. Yeah, no, just make it a million, bro. What did something escape? No, it didn't. Game, you're just confused. Don't worry. This is why I have to pause it. The game is so confused by certain things right now. Actually, Paulsley, you're the freaking tutorial, man. When we get over there, you're gonna let me know what I'm doing wrong over there. <laughs> um. After Planet Zoo, excited for more content. Hey, Bella, awesome. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out. And yes, yes, I can't wait for uh, more Planet Zoo. I was just mentioning to everyone that even after um, the uh, the beta is done today, I do still have more videos um, in the pipeline ready to be released for sure. Um, so just because the beta is going to be ending tomorrow does not mean that the content of um, Planet Zoo stuff is going to be ending at all. So as we exit out here, ooh, my frames are kind of like, they're kind of they're poopy right now. That's okay. It's okay, stuff happens. Oh god, because why why does every message that you send get get held for review? Maybe maybe just maybe it's talk like you're talking to your your, your grandma. Online franchise mode is oh I gotta show it there. <laughs> Who can show off their big willy by jacking up the prices on the market? Yes, that is what uh real markets do a lot a lot. So yeah, as you exit out here, oh it is really uh 
It's really kind of framing up there. Good thing it's not a first-person shooter. It's a simulation game. <laughs> we come up to Wild Africa here. And um, you just lie on all of them and got lucky on some uh, some facts. Well, for your conservation points. Gotcha, gotcha. I didn't understand them the first few days, so I, like, blew through all of mine. And I was, like, I had to, like, spend an entire evening just figuring out what the fuck the conservation points were all about and stuff, so... <laughs> Yeah, as we enter in here, we uh, kind of get some... Like, this whole area, I kind of mentioned in the video, if I had any area that I really would come back to, um, if this, if everything carried over, it would definitely be this area. Um, because I want to come back through here with, like, the old Africa kind of set with, like, you know, tiki huts and stuff like that. And um, I would redecorate a lot more. We kind of only have, we're kind of limited, um, a lot of you might know, but um, to like, kind of this modern African set, I guess you'd call it. Um... But yeah, I would come back through here and definitely um, redo it with a little bit of an older African set. But yeah, here's our lion habitat. That we're talking about. Okay. Um, my wife's getting ready to leave for work, so I'm just making sure I don't miss her uh, leaving. This was modeled after uh, the Knoxville or the Louisville, the, the Louisville uh, Zoo in the United States there. And I loved it because they had this uh, little center up here, and I really wanted to incorporate that, and we're going to be doing a lot more of that. And this is my first time kind of um, wanting to um, design a zoo the way that it is meant to be designed. Um, and that is, you know, usually they'll have like a backstage kind of building like this. Um, and this is my first kind of look into actual in-depth zoo design, because uh, for those of you that follow me since like Planet Coaster, that that's very natural to me, de designing a theme park. Like I've worked at multiple theme parks, water parks, you name it, that's my bread and butter. Zoos, I like zoos, I've been to a lot of zoos, but I don't know the exact like, you know, down to a wire or down to a T, like how they design them fully. So that's gonna be a really fun kind of research a little bit. I'll have to read some PDFs, right? To, uh, and look at layouts and stuff like that. My family's messed up. Hey, as long as you like them. No idea what I was doing, just spoofed it all and uh, ranked it. Oh, the, oh, oh, I'm sorry, the subs, yes. Well, yeah, you know, um, I'm gonna be doing some tutorial videos as well, but it's kind of easier for like people like Paulsley, myself, and others who have played the Planet series since the beginning, right? Because for a lot of you who, who just came into the Planet Zoo series, you might be looking and be like, how did you place that path like that? Or I didn't know there was a construction tab. I got that one before. Um, how do you do the buildings? I was like, you go on the construction tab. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, and it's not a lot of people's fault. Uh, Frontier sucks at tutorials really bad. So, uh, yeah. Senior year in college, but uh, but instead I'm just binge watching Planet Zoo videos. Please help. No, I can't. As a YouTuber, I'm going to encourage you to continue to do that. Please watch all the videos all the way through. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell. <laughs> uh, congrats on your senior year, though, by the way. That's a, uh, that's a heck of an accomplishment right there. I didn't make it that far. <laughs> Why isn't anyone uh, writing this? It's a nice ride, everyone, I promise. It's really fun, and you get to see some animals. How about it's free? You know what? Because we've made all the money. It's heckin' free. Why don't you all just jump on the ride? Tell me why you're not riding it. Wait, did I... Right. Tell me why. Tell me now. I don't care enough. Okay, so yeah, there's uh, we'll we'll ride <laughs> we'll ride on that after we do a little uh, keep going through the tour. But you have a little eatery, and uh, this is another thing that I saw from the the concept art is uh, for this lion habitat is is the idea of um, you know central hub back here and then another kind of central hub right here and we have another habitat right here. Um, so just the way that the whole area kind of ties itself, you know, into this one. So you have the lions, turtles, savanna, elephants, you know, it's all just flows into like well, one little, uh, area there. So I look a lot. But sometimes how did you move that uh, wall away from the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, best thing about these games, it doesn't have to be realistic. No, if you don't want it to be, mm -mm. you can play it however you want. Look at Rudy. Rudy built, um, Avatar Land basically, right? Floating Islands. Heads cut off way back in the end of the station. Oh, did they? I didn't even check the clearance. That's awesome. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Here's our elephant. I kept the elephant separate from the rest of the savanna animals. You usually see that in real life. And again, this is another one that I would I really want to come back through and um, do this better. Um, 
Have that there. We'll go, and uh, I know I skipped over the savannah. We're going to get a lot better look at this whole savannah area when we go take a ride on the uh, 4x4 ride there. And then uh, over here. Anyone got to go to the bathroom? Raise your hand. You got to go to the bathroom. Going once. Going twice. Okay, we'll, go on the, we'll keep on the tour then. Let's go ahead and head into the education center. I know because has to go, but we're gonna we're just ignore his hand in the back. This is this is another area where um, when we get the uh, if we were to get the entire like pack and you know all the sets and stuff, I totally come back through here and make the interior really really nice and uh, fleshed out. This is about the time that I, is he wearing an earpiece? He's wearing they're wearing earpieces. Are those Bluetooth headsets? What the heck are you wearing? What is on your face? All right, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was maybe like, you know how people from like foreign countries when they come somewhere, they'll wear like the, the headphones and like the education, like audio will play or something like that. I was thinking that's what it was. I think it's just a... Your grade is more waterfalls? Oh God. You couldn't get an elephant? I finally, I found one for, um, someone must have been getting rid of their elephants, but so I got one for 50 CC. It was a great one too. It was like it was like um, 15 years old, 50 cc, great jeans. I think someone was just doing a clearance set. I'll do that at nighttime though. I'll sit there and I'll just refresh the page and stuff like that. Hi. <laughs> hey, it's not dumb if a lot of people are asking. It just means that someone else knows more, right? Right. Ignorance is not being dumb. It's just not knowing. But uh, I love this little area. How you get to see uh, the animal. Uh, the oh, what? You look at this. You get one right there one right there that's fantastic there you go exactly Paulsley. you sell audio tours at the information oh i haven't actually looked at all the uh in or what the, i know they sold a lot in the uh the info centers if you're not using info centers info centers make you a crap ton of money um going to put so much time into the details heck yeah me too man i'm all about them details if i if i know i have the time yeah again that's what it came down to i, I was doing this building this and i was like wait we have like three days left go <laughs> so let's go ahead and exit on out here go back over to our excuse me four by four Woo! <laughs> i designed that really well nice little choke point there oofta all right so yeah you're totally right oh you know what's funny is i even acknowledged that you would boop your head over here and i fixed it but i didn't fix it over here gg g to the g no i don't want to give away burkerts what is that that huh no, it hasn't. These numbers got to mean something, right? Something, something special. All right, we'll just sit here. And... Uh, da -da -da, going to put so yeah, yeah. Build an info center. Yeah, I I thought that they would have just sold um like umbrellas and what did they sell in Planet Coaster? Oh, they sold uh fast passes. So I only thought they were gonna sell umbrellas to be honest with you. Uh, but there's still a lot of stuff. We'll take a look at it um, before we leave. Don't let me forget. Uh, how's married life? Just heavier on the... I left my ring. Found it. <laughs> I found it. In my hey, hey, the ride started. In my defense, it's we have to get a new one because I I lost weight. That's a sexual reference. 
Oh man, YouTube's gonna demonetize my video because I went like this. Dang it, YouTube. Don't do it, bot. Don't don't demonetize me, bot. It's okay, it's just a ring and a finger. It's not like a sex thing. It's not a sex thing, um, YouTube bot. Um, but yeah, in my defense, the ring is dumb loose and we have to get a new one. <laughs> I lost, uh, I apparently lost some weight in between uh, when we ordered it and when, when I got it, so. <laughs> um, no time limits, yes. Looks like a ride control panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is what it is. <laughs> You're turning it that into <laughs> health spare <your> life <laughs> for the first couple of months. I think even if it did fit, because you know, I, I I take it off for like when I you know take a shower and whatever you know when it just turn uh, take it off. I st I um I still just yeah it's I, I'm not used to it. But I'll sit there. And I'll realize I forget it because whenever I put my hand close together, there's not that, you know, bulge or whatever. And then I, I, I'm always playing with it. I'm always playing with it. So that's right when I'm like, oh, my fiddle stick isn't here. Or my fiddle ring isn't here. Uh, does anyone else uh, here create content such as videos or live streams? Looking to support and binge watch some uh, more content and creators. Palsley does. I'll give <laughs> Thank you, Palsley. If you're not already uh, following Palsley, um, everyone go follow Palsley. Katronica is going to be um, starting to do more content because makes content when he feels like it. So once every like six months, he'll release a, a Planet Coaster video. That's a nice detail. I never noticed these little things in the back there. Um, there's this guy named Geekism that has a video. He, he releases videos sometimes, but I don't think he's the most consistent. Kappa. <laughs> um... I'm trying to think. Oh, there was Jur. Um, I think that's how you spell his name. Type that in um, with Planet Zoo at the end of it. Um, he had a really, really great, uh, great series, and he's—I he's, hadn't heard of him before. I think I'd seen him in Plan uh, the Bro Nation every once in a while, but yeah, he had a really, really great um, series. He just started. I think it was a three-part series there. Um, but yeah, as you exit out of Wild Africa, we'll take a right. And we'll head to the new area where um, our escaped animal is constantly, so. Um, I told everybody to follow Seth Rogen. <laughs> Thank you. They'll know exactly what that is, exactly. I need to start putting that. I should start putting that in my video tags and get the algorithm uh, thinking that I really am Seth Rogen, so it really likes me and stuff like that. Um, I love me some John T. He's helped me out immensely. He's a good dude, too. I've, I can actually say that. I've met him in real life um over the course of a few days and um we hung out along with because um at cedar point we got to hang out for a few days and it was awesome but yeah jaunty's a really good dude and yeah he's helped give me a few shout outs a lot of you probably know me because jaunty gave me a shout out during a live stream and one of his uh his videos right so by the way these people are looking at the mandrills they they think that they i don't i hope that they fix that like if there's something in the way they don't look i have this happen a lot but yeah they were looking at the mandrills so <laughs> um but yeah here we are in our newest area that we're going to be working on today as well um called grizzly peak so this is our north american area and as you can tell we have some grizzly bear uh grizzly bear it was gonna be two of them um i just released a video on the first part of this today second part goes out tomorrow um but yeah here we are we'll enter into the uh I mean, he likes how he likes helping people he's just uh he, he's told me before he's like i have all this information and all this knowledge and he was like and i just kind of naturally just expound it to people who are interested basically <laughs> and i am so you know yeah i'm really appreciative but yeah he, he will he'll just sometimes just kind of uh like youtube algorithm vomit in discord chats and it's the best thing ever because i'm just sitting there like oh yeah okay cool <laughs> <clears throat> You'll fly over, dude. Yeah, it's Palsley. That'd be amazing. It does seem kind of weird that, I haven't, that we haven't met Palsley. Um, <laughs> so as we enter in here, um, kind of re this is what you all are going to see in the um, video coming out tomorrow. The video you saw today, if you watched it, uh, none of this was done. So spoiler alert. Um, yeah, we. I kind of wanted to theme it after this. I guess Northern Canadian portside town. I guess. Um, and a lot of the pieces that we have in here really warrant themselves to work um, really well with this kind of uh, backwoods kind of feel. And that's that's most like, to me, that's that's my kind of theme. You know, I'm from northern Illinois, 
We vacationed in northern Wisconsin, which may as well be Canada, like all the time. Towns up there all looked like this for the most part. Kind of that almost German Alpine kind of feel, but still rugged, rustic kind of thing. And that was the hard part about getting all this um, in is, oh, you can see the bear. He's making it look uh, uh, crap. You know, trying to make it look more run down because it's all very sleek and you know, the windows are very sleek. There's a very modern sleek set and stuff like that. And I probably could have if I would have used boards and, you know, built my own stuff. Um, but I just really wanted to use more of the in-game pieces. So, um, but yeah, for the full release, I'm really excited because I'm sure there's going to be some really awesome rustic um, cool things here. Guests usually avoid this. A lot of people don't know how that is because um, this is all just one giant path boardwalk area. Um, guests do actively um, avoid, I hope, I hope they go this way to show it off, um, guests will actively avoid the rocks um, in these areas here where I have um, these filled in. Reason being is that the, uh, the trash bins, the trash bins, if you didn't know, act as a natural deterrent. Think of it as like a, you threw a giant boulder into a, a stream and you know the water has to go around it. That's, that's what these do. That's what the trash cans, that's what benches do. I think that's it. In Planet Coaster, we have an actual piece, um, a barrier piece. It's just, a, it looks like a, a plank, just like a, a four meter or two meter plank. And we can sink those into the ground and they, they deter people, but we don't have that yet. We're, I'm almost certain we're gonna get it. Um, but yeah, that's all you do here. You just kind of um, sink your, uh, sink some trash cans in and uh, people will kind of uh, move around it. I use the Indian trash cans. Um, oops. Let's see, see? See, they, for the most part, will walk around it. These um, these Indian style trash cans here, uh, they work really well. They're I'm thinking they're the smallest one in the game so far. So, <laughs> the path designs, yes, I love this like the new boardwalk um, design and stuff like that. Yeah, totally, totally with you there. All right, let's go move forward here. We have a little um, drink shop. Kind of harness my inner Estan Wolf here, not gonna lie, using the uh, logs and stuff like that. He's all about using um, logs and pieces outside of their comfort zone and stuff. So um, we have that, we have that, and then uh, kind of wraps up over here into um, our bear, our grizzly bear area, where I'm kind of doing some experimentation. Um, because if you um, push G here, this dude, he's not, ha he's okay, right? He's okay, well, not really. But the biggest problem is, um, well, it was his his space. I measured this exhibit off of a real one, off of the Brookfield Zoo bear habitat, and that one is uh, basically it's twenty by twenty in meters, not in uh, feet or yards or something. Uh, twenty by twenty. So I did that, and it wasn't even close to being big enough. So then I I doubled it. And I know this still looks small, but this is a, a like a 40 by 20, like 40 out by 20 uh, deep. And it's still not enough. And I really don't want to do any more than that because I do want to model it after like a real life zoo kind of thing. Um, and you know, you I know that they do exist, but for the zoo that I'm doing, you know, I, I'm not gonna give the animals all of the necessary space necessarily just because it's a, Real life take on a zoo right and that's uh, what you see and plus I've, I've harped on it before the areas that you see in zoos like this area here or this area here the animals are there not even a, like a lot of the time of the day most of their time is spent in the backstage area which um we can kind of do um and i think in the full release i have an idea of how i want to like actually make the back area and have the encourage the bear to actually go sleep back there and stuff like that um, I think it'll be fairly easy to pull off, but um, I think that's something that a lot of people um, miss is that, um, again, play however you want, build the extravagant, crazy big things, right? But if you want to go for the realistic kind of thing, just remember that, you know, usually this is, oh, good. Oh, really good that that happened because our mandrels are about to die. Um, this is their onstage area, basically, but most of the time is spent in the back area. So um, I keep that in mind, basically. He's okay. He's okay. Well, not... Uh, really <laughs> so we can um we can kind of expand this out um i kind of did this for experimentation oh my god i, I reckon i need to hook a path up to that oopsie daisy <laughs> oopsie poopsie <laughs> okay didn't think this through too well hold on 
Hold on. Oops. <laughs> I'm seeing something else I missed. Too. I was tired when I stopped this last time. <laughs> Just get rid of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, finish out the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Love it. Fantastic. Alright, we can just hook it up right there. No problem. Um, beardy big enough? Barely? Okay, I was gonna say, did you mean barely by chance? <laughs> barely big enough? Yeah, but I mean, it's crazy how much it brings down his welfare. Like, his welfare is only 35%, which, you know, I don't want to make our bear totally pissed off at the world. I'd like our bear to be happy, but again, I'm not gonna make a giant freaking enormous exhibit that's why i can't wait for sandbox mode too because i think they're gonna turn off a lot of the animal welfare stuff i hope they do because it's sandbox mode right um all right so we'll do that that works kind of <laughs> uh doors uh where's the shitty door there's the shitty door i love these shitty doors they're so good <laughs> they're so terrible looking and it's great boom Aesthetic. Who do we need to talk to to make the bear exhibit um, a real thing? Um, wait, who do we need to talk to to make uh, that bear exhibit a real thing? That is sick. Um, Detroit, the Detroit, uh, the Detroit Zoo. I modeled it directly after that for the most part. Um, so if you were to, if you type in Detroit Zoo grizzly bear habitat, I think go into images. Um, it should look relatively the same. The only thing I didn't do that I uh, that I could is uh, the concrete flooring. Um, that's another thing a lot of people miss is um, concrete flooring. I know I talked about it with our lemur exhibit, um, but most zoos, they don't have grass and, you know, stuff that can easily get uh, destroyed for the most part. It's a lot of dirt, concrete, stuff that's easily cle cleanable. Uh, it, yeah, <laughs> it's literally on fire. Um... I think it only counts the where the bear is going. It does. So if we click on our bear, you'll see where it counts in Palsley or anyone else. Actually, this is where I need to know. It it yells at me here. It yells at me that it can't cross. And whenever it does go, it it can cross. Hey, dude, how are you doing? Ha ha. See, dude, dude. I'm I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> um do a bad zoo i yeah yeah pretty much um but yeah the bear it says that it's done here but it can cross over see watch and it's gonna say he escaped see it says he escaped no oh i'm, I'm sorry so i should say this is the detroit zoo inspiration this is something i've been wanting to try the entire beta and i just tried it finally Huh. Detroit has a nice thing. No, it looked like crap, and that's why I modeled after it. <laughs> to be honest with you, it looked like it was stuck in the mid '80s. So, um, fill their houses with dirt and concrete and make them live in it. They'll love it. Um, do 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 do. Breakout point. Well, where can he break out? It's all surrounded. Do you think it's because here? Because it's not all... here. Let me show the barrier. So like I have the barrier set up like this. See how I kind of filled it in so that this area is like considered in the barrier? Is that why? It's just so weird how it has it stop. Like it, it, it recognizes, you know, this little area in here. And then it's like, but I can't go any further. So I'm thinking that I just set up my barrier incorrectly. He's gonna go again and he thinks about it. He's like, okay, wait, this is the end of my habitat. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. So this is a barrier in here, then it goes through here, and then this is a barrier. No barriers don't work like that, dude. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> Let me just delete it then. <laughs> I tried to do something fancy and Planet Z was like, nah, bro, <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't doing something cool. So how do we do this? I know I've seen people do this, or have I? Maybe I haven't and I just made it up. I know I've seen it done in real zoos. You can totally do this in a real zoo. They have to be internal to be to a complete barrier to work and stop animals, for example, that cannot swim going to water. I'm going back. <laughs> you need to disconnect the current barriers from the habitat group. So like the ones that I just did. Um, 
click edit barrier, see which bits are part of the exhibit. There it is. So edit barrier. Okay, so now I've separated them by taking out that middle part there. So I've separated the two. So now it's like two separate barriers. So to make it work, we're gonna have to like get a barrier up. I think I know how to do it. It's just gonna suck because you're gonna have to bring the terrain up to here. So we get to get rid of all this. Bring the terrain up, have a glass barrier. Excuse me. And then remove the terrain. And then it should create like a bridge. I think you can't tick whether it's part of the group. Wait, what? You can tick, oh, I'm sorry. I think you can tick whether it's part of the group or not. Oh, like this, uh, this stuff over here. Oh, it really doesn't like, I'm really confusing it by doing that. See, it's really, uh, hmm. Say I add a new spot. I want it to go over here. Uh -huh. Go, go, do it. Come over, live free, die hard. Bruce Willis. Come on, Bruce Willis. Come on, Bruce. Bruce Willis, come on, Brucey. Do a big willy style. Live free. Make it one habitat. Yeah, we just did that. It didn't really work. Wait, can't you just shift and raise it? I thought so too, but no. Well, let me do it like this. Let me do a new barrier. Let's get out of that. So a new barrier. Let's just do glass. Shift. Does that bring it up or am I just moving? Sh holding shift up. See, that's unfortunate. It should be, it should be able to. Now, if I... Let's try this. Let's try this. So if we just start our glass barrier right there and then we raise that sucker up, right? So that's about where we want it to go. And then we go forward here. Let me do it null first because it actually build it. How can you be obstructed? You're a null barrier. It's impossible for a null barrier to be So it'll connect up to that. Make sure there are no complete circuits of barriers within the barrier you want for the habitat. If that makes sense, it does. Um, there should be no smaller circuit of barrier within the habitat barrier. Sure. I feel like that's what we did before. You hear that noise? Strange. Um, I feel like we did that before. Let me just control Z all the way back to show you what we have. So I did that and that, and then we need to delete this middle part. Maybe that's where I was fucked up. So then that's the only closed section here. So we get rid of that. Halsley is here. Um, I've not even tried this way. Um, I just buried the barrier underneath the ground so it was like one but looked like two. Yes, I saw that and that was really cool, but um, I've definitely seen like a lot of zoos do it this way where they just have a lot of tiger exhibits especially where you're just like, oh fuck. <laughs> so we've done it this way. Oops, let me bring that back so we can all look. So I've done it this way where This is it, that's it. So it leads to there. So I think I need to get rid of this, that barrier. So now it's one. So now it, this is all one barrier. Welcome back, Celio. And did we not? Okay, so maybe that was it. Let's try that. So now this is what we were all saying, right? So the, the barrier goes like this, this, all the way up, you know, over to this makeshift one, back here, down, and then over. So it doesn't ever close until here. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. So this should all be one open habitat. Calculate. 
It did get bigger. Oops, sorry. Ooh, it was close. It did add on. It did add on. It's just over here it gets confused now. Just a uh, block open parts then with the null barrier inside the exhibit. Even I don't understand myself when trying to explain things. I know, like I'm reading your sentence and I and the words make a complete sentence, but then my brain is just like... <laughs> Excuse me. So we got closer with it. There's no barrier here. It's all just open. Whole... Is it a height thing? Maybe it's height? Just... Do you write scripts for tutorials? <laughs> Do you write scripts for anything else? I do. Two sets of barriers doesn't work well. Um, replacing the barrier for the smaller part of the habitat may fix it. Let's give that a shot. I don't think the height has to do with it. Let's just get rid of this and redo it. Just, I, I wasn't going to keep that anyways. That was just kind of a, uh, if you can tell, between the two qualities. <laughs> I was kind of just, let's throw it together and see if this works. Um, cool. Oh, it's this making the noise. I was like, what the? Let's just go back to null. Delete that. Okay. Bring this height back. Whatever it was. Delete that too. Just start. <laughs> there it is, Pawsley. You feel good about that one? You should feel good about it. But, oh god, he might actually escape. <laughs> Let me pause it real quick. He might actually escape. Someone will hopefully make a tutorial since I want to try this as well. If I figure it out, with all y'all's help, and hopefully, you know, when the full release comes, I'll definitely release that. What if you build a hill and then place the fence and remove? That's what, I, yeah, I was thinking that before because then if we did that, if we built the hill, put the fence on top and then remove the hill, the fence should stay as like a bridge um, instead of if it's, uh, if it's pre-existing. We kind of saw it here, right? Uh, if there's pre-existing, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, terrain, see how it kind of conforms to it. If we do the terrain first, have it go up with a glass and then take the terrain away, it should just keep it almost looking like that, but not exactly like that. Um, so yeah, I, I see what you're saying. I want to try this way first to see if we can still use these glass pieces because I love how these look. Like this whole thing, this glass box, is is exactly how I envisioned it. So if we can keep it like that, awesome. If not, we'll try that way. You will, we will. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you retracted. <laughs> oh, I will. And two bits weren't connecting properly, so that's why I'm wondering if that's the issue. Yeah, it could be, right? It could be something just as simple as that. I really hope it is. Because I would love if this works. Again, if it's if it's not really working, I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna funk with it too much longer. Just because, you know, we unfortunately only have 12 hours or whatever, so. I do want to build a wolf habitat, or timber wolf habitat, and I did already get the wolves set, so that is the main thing that I want to um, do today. Um, so, all right, so that, that should work, right? That's what we're looking at as far as how how it should uh, be good to go, right? So, hello, bear. There it is. Who was that that suggested that? Um, Virius. Dude or dude -er. that's absolutely what it was. Beta's gonna beta, and uh, there it is. I bet you a million bucks, too. That's gonna be enough uh, enough area. 
for our uh, for Bruce Willis for Bruce Willis to uh, live free and die hard. So good job, nice, nice. So I will be making a tutorial on that when the full release comes out. There we go. Let's edit some of these barriers up. That's actually a lot better looking too. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that. We're gonna we're gonna redo it, make it look nice, but I'm gonna leave it for the most part kind of looking like this. So. Oh, I remember. So let's uh, concrete it up. Or was, I have a bunch of new fences now. I kind of forgot. Do we want to do anything else? No, concrete's fine. We're gonna add in an extra uh, post Malone here. I do it. Here, because I don't want the whole thing to be kind of here, buggeroo. There we go. All right. Cool. Do, 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 do. Beta's going to beta. My call. Hey, what's up, Dieter? That totally is. That is a that is a jaunty Sparrow trademark. Beta's going to beta, but it just describes it so perfectly. Good, good live stream today. I was able to catch it as we were, uh, my wife and I were, uh, cleaning around the house there. Very enjoyable. The smell of vision update, me neither. Seeing as every single house that I ever go into, like, uh, uh um, primate house, tropic house, you name it, they're all 110 degrees Fahrenheit and they all smell like just someone just pissed everywhere, which not someone, something, but you know. <laughs> you named him going to be sad when the beta ends now i now we're attached to to mr bruce willis who is really wanting to live free and die hard so now it should be good right funk yeah dude i'm i'm stoked that worked out i'm like really pumped about that and i can't and that's just so funny that you know it's just a simple little uh i think to uh just reconnect it Back some juicy, uh, <laughs> you say, but <laughs> there it is. Thanks. Eva. Makes me attached. Why does the beta have to end? I know. I know it. Look at, look at Bruce. Look at Bruce Willis. Just, just doing the thing. Um, is now can peeps walk under it without, um, believing they're in the enclosure? I believe they can. I believe they can. Let's, um, that is a good question to ask. Oh, hey, 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 What? What? Yeah, look at that. Look at your views, dude. Such sky, very wow. All right, let me uh, let me uh, try and entice some people to get over here. Hey, people! Look at this heckin' thing. I mean, would you just would you just come down here and just look at it? Would you? Uh oh. Train to uneven for path. Is it? Is it really? Do I have flattened terrain on? No, but I have snap. Oh. Um, no. We're just gonna have to redo this little section here. Really? In I know the Planet Coaster Path system is to be desired, but really? Jeez, there. I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, drop him into the lion enclosure. Pawsley, you bite your tongue. Bruce Willis would take him on. Bruce Willis would totally kill whatever uh, we dropped him in there, because Bruce Willis is the man. He does a big willy style. All right. So now I just need people to come over here just to see. I did do a height check, so that it should be okay. Funky cat enclosures too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Small kitties. Yeah. But I like the thought of uh, using a cage. I think yeah, the terrain way could absolutely work as well. How does the beta end? Can you keep the game open or does the game just auto-close? 
I think it'll, um, I, I think it might stay open, but I don't think you'll be able to do anything in it. No, no, it'll just shut off. It'll just, it'll just, um, because it'll just go offline. That's what they'll do. Yeah, Frontier will just nix it offline. So it'll still show up in your Steam account, um, but it'll just be offline, so. Completely closes while the, uh, yes, that's glitchy, yeah. So show me the barriers here because I can't do the this with a tunnel. Sure, yeah. All right, so here's how we, it's, it's an open, it's an open loop. It's all open as it goes around. See here, we don't block it off. This is not a barrier here. So it all stays open until your, your start point. Bruce Reels is the real John Wick. <laughs> Tunnels for the animal, I guess. Do um, hmm. you get to keep your uh, maps after beta? No. Nope. Thanos snap. The one thing you might be able to keep is your blueprints, potentially. Um, and I think there is a pretty good chance that you will be able to. Don't quote me, but I, um, for my Planet Coaster experience... Um, where the hell is everybody? I have a freaking grizzly bear back here and everyone's like, eh. Um, the Planet Coaster beta to full release, I believe we were able to keep our blueprints. I remember. Uh, but yeah, uh, John T, let me know if you need to see that again. Um, but yeah, that's what we did, it's just an uh, open system. Open system, protesters have arrived. Why? Because of the bear? Oh, because of my frog. Okay. <laughs> hey, well, at least they're going to uh, come all the way back and we can see the height clearance that I've been waiting for. Probably not human enough or something. It's too hot. It's too hot. Find this wonderful. Oh, yeah. John T's, he's all right. I don't care what anyone says. He's all right in my book, all right? <laughs> there we go there we go all right cool please come back here and um protest i just i just need any of y'all to come over here and, and just protest whatever blueprint the whole map there you go well now that you can do terrain you know they're scared of blue bruce willis his true power they know that he uh Ooh, they're, oh, they're, I missed it, but yeah, they he walked under. Okay. <laughs> He'll walk back. I've been number one in the workshop for the uh, first time. Dude, congrats. That's awesome. I'm not going to lie. I haven't looked at the workshop at all. Um, I, I Except for like, you know, they have the top three things or whatever. I maybe will glance at them just to see. But other than that, I really haven't paid too much attention to the, um, to the workshop. So, all right, cool. That, I mean, they go, so... I'm just going to undo it because I just feel that Planet Coaster is going to Planet Coaster. And I just don't, or oops, Planet Zoo is going to Planet Zoo. And I don't want to funk with that. It's I've done it enough in Planet Coaster where you'll have a path that you laid months ago and it's all great and nothing's wrong. And the minute that you have to add on to it, the whole like a quarter mile of stuff just vanishes and you're just like, what the fuck? So I'm just not even going to, I'm just, it's fine. It's fine <laughs> okay let's make this guy's uh... wait brucey big willy style come back come on there you go <clears throat> has a uh protester enclosure <laughs> just pick a group and throw them uh, um by the frog they'll walk back oh that would have been a good idea let's just do that i kind of forget that you can pick up the uh um the guests i blame the archer i blame the archer for scale or whale for scale Look at this frog. I mean, look at this. Look at this shit. I mean, there is technically a frog there. Yeah, so it's not glitched. They're good. That's good. Good. Okay. Boom. Uh, big fan, Bella. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I'm, 
again, I'm really appreciative to uh, Mr. Jolty for giving me those uh, those shouts there. Yeah, any of you that uh, came over from you know a Geekism stream or uh, video or anything like that, thanks so much for hanging out. Appreciate it. Um, let's get uh, let's get Big Willie over here. He, he's uh, you know we gotta get him feeling better here. There's gonna be oh I didn't even think of that. Yeah, this topiary is gonna be in there. That's all right. He'll be all. So we need North American Taiga Temperate Tundra. Seriously, my favorite. Uh, so far, this is my favorite enclosure to do, just because these the North American or like Northern Canada European kind of uh, foliage and set is so well done that um, you can really get some awesome looking stuff really fast. We were talking about a little bit on the Bro Nation. Um, people were talking about how this game compared to Planet Coaster, just how much more beautiful and sleek it looks, and they were kind of saying that's a bad thing, which each their own. Um, but, uh, but uh, I think a lot of it comes down to uh, the, the foliage, foliage and rocks and stuff. Because, I mean, uh, when you break it down, what I did here is simple AF. You're very square, very rectangular buildings, all using in-game stuff. There's no custom roofing. There's no custom anything. A lot of that's because the grid system is borked and I just don't want to mess with it. Um, but, you know, once you start adding in just like some of the rocks, some of the little foliage bits, planters and stuff... A lot of that makes very plain areas look alive, and they did just such a fantastic job with all the full age and stuff in this game that it did, uh, it's just, it, it, what? It adds a lot. All right, so let's do a tree there. A tree there. Oh my. Look at that tree. This is gonna be like his enrichment area for the most part. I reckon. Fern Gully area over there. We're going to redo um, some of the barriers as well. Probably do some more of these rocks, but have little slits and openings there. Uh, that's one. Yeah, look at that bear go. <laughs> and the bear could uh, tour the whole zoo, see his favorite animals. That's a really cool idea. What if you did like a zoo that's like a mall? And it had like, like a center food court area? Wait, why am I telling you all this? I'm going to do the idea and not tell you all what the idea is. Fuck off my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, what if you had like, you know, malls have like a center food court area and if it's like a multi-tiered mall, you could have like on the different tiers, different walkways and different animals walking along the walkways. I can see it now. Big square opening, little walkways around the square tiers, look up, like go up different uh, different levels. You can see different animals walking around and stuff like that. I can see it now, man. I'm totally going to make it. YouTuber builds ball in Planet Zoo? Something like that, you know? And then I'll 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 pull the uh, I'll, I'll pull up my big red arrow. That's not a sexual reference. That's just like a YouTube reference. I'll pull out the big red arrow, right? Just be like, look. And I'll have like a picture of like of like uh, the Mall of America. But then I'll have like a lion coming out of it. Oh man, I'm gonna get like a million views. Y'all don't even understand right now. Big red arrow. <laughs> views <laughs> all right let's get some more deadness in here dead trees make areas look alive what when searching for release streams and i'm glad i did nice um oh yeah that's right over on mixer yeah you think frontier takes the realism aspect seriously or is more interested in best case scenario simulator i think they do take the the realism crowd into um, account but not until later on in development if it's like they did with planet coaster and actually i think out the gate they did a lot better job um i think they did a lot better job kind of accommodating um okay i have to pause it because i don't know what's going on with our staff member over here but holy f <laughs> but anyways yeah um planet zoo they come out with a lot more like like i said the foliage and rock work and um some of those tools are definitely geared towards more towards the the, uh, the builders right the actual just building people um and then they've also done a good job with the management but um i think as the game goes on you're gonna see um we'll see what the different building sets are more geared towards um the one thing i do take away that i think they're noticing the uh the realistic builders more is the indian set or the india set i can't remember what it is Y'all haven't seen Indian, yeah. The Indian set is so fleshed out and it reminds me of um, 
uh, more uh, newer planet coaster packs but just the fact that i mean it just you you know you have just all this little stuff here i think they've finally kind of found a balance between appeasing that gp if you will you know just the person that wants to come in plop down a grizzly bear throw down some dirt throw down some foliage and not have to do anything else and it'll still look great and the person building it will feel great about it but then they still have given us the tools to uh go further so i feel like i was all over the place with that answer but yes is my <laughs> so what's uh the max height on the fences we can check the bear here uh the our fences are two meters are only two meters and i think that's fine here it's a grade four fence it doesn't give a height so it should be fine you're gonna blow up hey maybe one we'll be we'll be planet zoo buddies we were <laughs> me you and s dan and mass and all of us it's gonna be good i gave the view an arrow views love arrows <laughs> yes no not like not like terrorist or anything but like you know my zoo blew up what the f four million yes with a with a, a, an atomic bomb explosion and then like i'll do like a, a an ant like a, a chimpanzee with googly big googly eyes as the uh, yeah dude i got it i watch enough youtubers i watch enough youtube to know now what's wrong your temperature yeah that's a good point there boss that's a good point there boss you do like the cold maybe i'll just pull one over here right yep sweet and then the terrain we need some more rook yes right <laughs> seven comments today telling me i sound like carl pickington that name sounds so familiar but i actually dang it palsley carl oh yeah carl the dude from yeah and he he complains but he's funny <laughs> what was was he ricky gervais's friend is that what he was right him and ricky gervais would go like eating or like they'd like they'd send him across or oh, they'd send him around the world right Legs of RT games will be uh creating closures for oh oh yeah yeah they already have i already saw a few videos um uh where you know it's like we build a zoo but it's the worst zoo ever and you know those are those are fine you know there's definitely an audience for them obviously because they get all those views but we don't do so much of that over here i really gotta turn down the uh the bot it really doesn't like anybody makes me laugh um idiot ab idiot abroad yeah that's what it is what did it stop you for because you said idiot oh good <laughs> oh youtube you so funny <laughs> oh you know what it's counting the the short grass it's probably counting underneath here i know it doesn't look like it but we do need to keep an account yep it is that all this stuff underneath the concrete here remember all of this even though we don't see it is being counted right so i think there's like long grass and stuff down here so i think that's what it is Okay, so apparently no one say the I word because it's too bad too. <laughs> I'm kind of curious how could someone spell out idiot and see if that's what it is. I'm like genuinely curious if it's idiot. <laughs> All right, and then that's enough messing with the algorithm today. That's enough. The old boy has been through the ringer. Some of our stuff is funny every once in a while. Sure, yeah, if you're in the mood for it, right? Um, we build a zoo, but it's uh, but it's a normal zoo with a steady profit and guest numbers. <laughs> that is it. Yeah, you can't. Sorry, I got excited. Yeah, you can't say idiot. Okay. <laughs> I know tomorrow what else I can't say. <laughs> um... I plan on watching all your videos on this game, but secretly can't wait to see what cataclysmic abomination Gray Stills Place <laughs> creates. No, like, I'm with you. Um, some of those, and a lot of those are really cool because they push the boundaries of uh, of uh, 
of the title, right? Of the engine and everything, which I think is really cool. Where's the, there they are. Uh, which I think is really cool to do. And that's what a lot of those guys you'll see them do, you know? Sure, they'll do that wacky, crazy, fun stuff. Um, um, but a lot of times they're just, they're really pushing the, the game to its limits. Um, as well as, you know, we do that too. The, the you know, myself, Palsley, uh, Geekism, Mass Band, you know, S Dan, we all do that as well in our own way with our own kind of builds too. But they just do it in a little bit more extravagant way, right? So definitely can appreciate it from all sides. Just like in Planet Coaster, I always said, you know, people um, assume that I didn't like, um, I didn't enjoy fantasy builds because I, you know, only post like realistic stuff. And, and quite the contrary, I think those people who do that stuff, like, um, to an extent, Silverette, uh, uh, Rudy, and um, you know a few of these other guys there and, and gals. Uh, that that stuff is equally, if not more, hard to do than realism. And same thing towards realism. So, um, yeah, I can appreciate it all. YouTube is uh, too PG. Yeah, they got you know money talks. <laughs> money talks. YouTube is too PG for... It hid that too. What is my bot setting at? I feel like it might be on my end. I, I, Cause now you can't even say Penn Island. <laughs> and that, that one, like if the algorithm is seriously picking up Penn Island, that is, that's interesting. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that would be something I hadn't seen before. Give him a little bit of uh, rolling hills here. Just a little bit. Again, this is mainly the enrichment area for him to kind of come over here and um, hang out, right? But, um... Nice. He's doing good. Still a little bit too much long grass, but I'm going to let it fly. Alright, I guess we could change the soil. Bears like it dirty. There we go. Alright, so we have that, we have that. Let's hide the cooler. Ain't nobody got time for a cooler. Cooler, cooler. Yep, it, you can't say that either. You can say pen period island, but you can't say pina period island. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> yeah, I like messing with it. That stuff really interests me because it, it is a kind of a big mystery for a lot of uh, people. I mean, I don't really have to ever worry about it because the most I'll, like I, when I do YouTube videos, streaming and YouTube and doing YouTube are two different ball games there. Um, but I, I don't, you know, I try not to openly curse a whole lot on, on my YouTube videos. I don't, you know, I'm playing a video game. Although I did think that, you know, what if the, um, what if the algorithm doesn't like it if you're showing animals fighting? I wonder if that's gonna be a thing. There's some glass pieces that we have that were really cool that you could uh, slap up against. Where is it? Yeah, I wonder if it's gonna um, get angry at people for monetizing, like, because you know people are gonna do animal fighting videos. You know, pitting a tiger versus like, a, a lion or just all this stuff. Pickle. I feel like. Decoration? I didn't think it was one. Ah, yep, can't do that one. Everyone's trying stuff. <laughs> there was, um, if y'all look up, I'll type it in the chat, Nerd City. They just did a similar um, thing that we're doing here, but they actually did, oh, there it is. They actually did like a full on um, in-depth look at it. Really interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, check them out if you haven't. They just released a YouTube video not too long ago, a few days ago. Oh, excuse me. About um, the YouTube algorithm. It's working. Oh, God, excuse me. God. For the first time ever, I wish there was a bigger piece than this in a series game. <laughs> You're the dude. I'm like, yeah, let's do all sides like that. And over here. Yeah, we'll do the same one. Uh, we are not nerds. We are amazing. We are the bestest. We are as best as. These are really cool. Oh, I love these. Hello? Planet Zoo music? 
You are to come back now. This is why I mute the. This is why I usually mute it and just play my own stuff. Oh, there's a car passing by. Say hello to the loud car. All right, uh, music coming on in three, two. We have that, we have that. Um, there's something else I was wanting to do. Oh, I want to switch this out over here. Or um, null. And we'll replace it with these this rock set that we have here. I'm going to try and uh, open little slots for people to look in. Same thing with over here. We're actually going to just replace all this. Biome is fine. Um, I, I like the tundra rocks. For this area, they, they have a really nice grayish color to them. That's too, that's too big. The Taijia and the are the Taiga <laughs> and the other one are fine, but they're they're more they're really brown and the animals similar. Oh hey, thanks for the likes on uh, Twitter and stuff like that. It uh, helps out a lot. I appreciate that, everyone. I didn't even notice until just now. And if you're not already, might as well plug that <laughs> down below in my description if you all want to stay up to date with when the channel goes live uh, for streaming and a new YouTube video comes out and all that fun stuff. Links down below. Links down below. Ooh, that's a little bit too big. Um, diddly, oh, that works. That works. I forgot this is a planet zoo. We have like a billion rocks to choose from, so it's pretty perfect. I need a I need a human or a whale for scale. Yeah, um Chati, I don't know if you're still hanging, but that's absolutely gonna be the new um That's gonna absolutely be the new scale term, whale for scale. That's too good not to use. So I hereby decree. Gotta go, dude. The war is still on, yes. <laughs> have a good one, dude. Have a good one. It's always good seeing you. And again, hey, if y'all aren't do be sure, run over, uh, click that man's uh, click that man's profile right there, Pawsley. Go go sub to him. Really, really great, uh, great stuff. He did such good work over the the past few weeks there with Planet Zoo. I still have to catch up to his videos. He he released. I'm not. He probably released like sixty to seventy hours of uh, Planet Zoo stuff. It's crazy. I have a good idea for a Timberwolf enclosure, maybe like a Firewatch Tower, yeah, in a forest where the guests view the wolves with a cave at the base of the tower. That's pretty cool. Are we going to continue streaming here or on Mixer? Um, probably more so Mixer than um, here. I just did here because it's the last day of the beta, and we've gotten a heck ton of new subs. Um, but as I say it all out, it's actually a bad idea. I need to pick one or the other and stop switching back and forth. I like YouTube streaming. Um, I really haven't had a problem with it, and my and the majority of my base of community is on YouTube. Make sure I'm kind of just starting new-ish. I mean, I have the Twitch people, but um, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm Captain Indecisive. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, we are listening, by the way, just in case someone's wondering. This is the soundtrack to Planet Zoo. You can find this on Yubtubs on YouTube there, um, if you'd like to. I just typed in Planet Zoo soundtrack and it came up. Mixer need, uh, never seems to tell me when the uh, streams start. Um, need to look at that. You can put on notifications. Um, I believe, but, uh, yeah, I have a, like in the upper right hand corner where the bell is, there's like a notification will pop up, not a very big one, but, um, so you've got too used to Mixer over the last couple of weeks now. Yeah. It, it's a great streaming platform. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely a great streaming platform. It's just the ever, the ever battle of. 
not dividing the audience and finding out where most people would like to hang out and so and then sticking to it that's mainly my thing i just gotta stick to an area so oops or to a streaming site i'm definitely not going back to twitch i'm i'm done i don't dig on i still go over there and watch stuff but and i have a lot of friend creators who are still over there so no. nothing against anyone that streams on twitch i just disagree that they handle of their stuff so for sure we're not going back there Um, I have the I have the stream chat on Discord unmuted, so I get the uh, mentions. Yeah, that that too. Good point, Celio. Um, and not you know not saying that everyone needs to have the uh, the ding ding you know going, but yeah, I, I do uh, at everyone when, only whenever a new YouTube video is uh, live on Discord or when uh, we're going uh, live stream. Only two times. I, I'm not one of those. Oh man, I had to leave a Discord a little while ago, and I got kicked out of one, but that was okay because she would notify everyone freaking two seconds if she like took a step outside her house that day i was like hey everyone guess what i did i'm like okay. and like i get that it's your discord you can do whatever you want but whoa <laughs> it's just like okay all right buddy you don't need to go that, that far so yeah whenever i do it it's always just hey everyone there's a new video. Hey everyone, I'm live. It's not even just that, but I do agree with you. It, it It's the overall. I mean, I'm not blind. And, you know, I just see how they sometimes, if it, they sometimes feel like, you know, enforcing whatever. It was a lot more than that, though. Sometimes less is more. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know some some people use Discord as like um, like a group chat or like a friend hangout stuff. And they'll make uh, specific Discord just for that. that absolutely, hundred and ten percent. I totally get where you're coming from there. But if it's like you're a content creator, like this person was, and you're doing stuff like that, it's just like, bruh, don't do that. Like, most people join your Discord because, you know, they're wanting to see your content, extend the conversation, you name it. Stuff like that, right? Not, hey, I ate a bagel today and it tasted good. Like, Twitter. <laughs> I went to the toilet today. That's, you're not too far off. <laughs> Furious. I'm a big boy. Everybody. Unlike um, YouTube, right? There's a few alternatives cycling out there to YouTube, but none of them are, are really serious yet, or they're really in the beta stages. There's this one I... Actually, I'm not even going to mention it, just because it's so early in the stage that it doesn't even matter. It might not even... This time next year, it might be... Um... um gone it's it's that early so but yeah i think places are kind of starting to want to do that you know challenge you to but you're going up against it you know you're going up against google right so it's <laughs> it's like your startup money versus all the money in the world <laughs> who's gonna win UI, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna finish out this little rock section here. I like how this turned out. And then, um, for the most part, I think, I think, I think, which is always a dangerous thing to do, pretty well. Oh, damn. I um, need to, uh, for the exhibit, that is, or for the hat. Uh, then we need to kind of do this little area here, which um, I'm actually going to steal an idea from uh, Jaunty. I saw him doing today with the, uh, the Indian set. There was this little cart, like a food cart. And I think it would fit in really well here. And a lot of that's recolorable as well. So I tie my own shoelaces today, guys. <laughs> I'm a big boy. I'm a big girl. I'm a big boy girl. Okay, so I believe 
I believe, I believe, I believe. Let's get some rocks in here. Um, that that should very well do. Oh, and we can kind of gussy up and decorate. Well, I was thinking, and this is going to take a little bit more time, but fucking whatever. Um, instead of these, uh, <laughs> my voice didn't want to come out. I was like, <laughs> um, instead of these wood planks across, I was wanting to use rocks, but uh, the rocks are really tricky to use for the, the animals sometimes. I originally had this over here. Not flat like this at all. I had it more built up with like little itty bitty ups like this, but it was like, no, no, the bear doesn't know how to lift a paw. So I have no idea. I was like, I have no idea. Why is that? Th so you have to like make it all flat for it. So which I think it'll be better. Um, Bruce will, Bruce will live in our hearts, yes. <laughs> we didn't deserve it. What's going on with Bruce? What happened to Bruce? He's fine. Where's Bruce? What are y'all saying that for? Where did Bruce go? He's right there. There's nothing wrong with Bruce. He's okay. Um, Bella, hey, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, hopefully, you know, we'll have a video coming out tomorrow to uh, kind of wrap up this area there. So, uh, awesome. Have a good one. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, we need a memorial when Bruce uh, will leave us tomorrow. Oh, a Bruce memorial? Yeah, I think we do, right? Let's let's let Bruce cross over here, and then we're going to um, got the game hung up there a little bit, and then we're going to. Oh, come on, buddy! Don't you take a poop right, dude? <laughs> uh, it's kind of hilarious that he just was like, "Yeah, you know what? This seems like a good spot." That's hilarious that you. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm taking a picture of that. Hold on, I think I gotta get Ansel out for this. Oops, I know, it went to a different screen. One, one second. My F2 is tied to, um, it's tied to, uh, switching the screen. That's so funny, I love that. Unfortunately, y'all can't see the filters that I'm putting on right now for Ansel, but I'll post a picture in my Discord and Twitter later of how this turned out. Let's zoom it in a little bit. It, it's it's weird, though, that it, it does this. It, it does the scope, the field of view and stuff like that, but it doesn't um, put the filters on. There he is. All right, let's put on another one. Let's put on a details. There we go. Oh, that's so funny. Look. And snap a picture. Love it. <laughs> Fluffy bear burner, yeah. He just plopped. I'm surprised. Good thing we have reinforced glass, huh? Now, can he escape right now? Because I just realized I didn't put. No, okay, good. Oh, it says he can escape right here. Walkable escape point. Oh, you know why? I think it's... Yeah, I already know. It's because I, I need to back up the barrier a little bit. Yep, we just have to back up the barrier. Uh-oh. No, don't be weird. Don't be weird. It's being weird.
Okay. Oops. I wanted that to happen. Got him. All right, so we do that, we do this, we do null. And we should be able to, hello, be able to bring it, nope. Oh my goodness. There, 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 there. Okay, that's it. Well, all the, if you didn't know what I was doing there, the reason why I was saying the bear um, was escaping or whatever, I don't know. Because um, I had the null fence here and this is where we wanted it to end. So just make sure your null fencing is all the way up against where you I had to mate in the glass tunnel above people. It would, they better pay extra. <laughs> I guess, you know. Perfectly round bear ring piece print on the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a nice little, oh, is he sleeping? <laughs> he decided that it is nap time right there. That's hilarious. He decided nap time right here. Another picture of him. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I it's I've seen this before with the glass pieces when people have made this that they hang halfway out, but you know. <laughs> is breach contain yeah, yeah, is he breach is this a breach of containment, you reckon? <laughs> it still says easy. Wait, now we can't get over here? Oh, because I'm a dumb. I forgot that I <laughs> Oh, my God. That's why he fell asleep right there. I kind of forced him to do that because it took away half of his habitat. But we're going to place it with a rock. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I don't, I really don't know why this is here. I don't think that's a thing. A habitat has become invalid. Oh, heck, what did I do? Oh, I didn't connect it. Okay. Hello, McFly. There, right? Now oh, it's good. Look at Chunkers. Sleeping bears, I know. <laughs> Especially in that tunnel like that. That's so funny. He is pretty heckin' adorable. Okay, so let's get um, editing here. Let's take away all this stuff. And we'll just uh, we'll replace it with rocks. Rocks. I think I literally just mentioned it, but I'm going to again. Thank you to everyone who's liking stuff on uh, on Twitter, like in the posts. I'm gonna so appreciate that. We'll add it to this. Oh, I didn't make this a whole rock set or rumpf. The game will be uh, modded so all the animals become uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> now, um, I don't know if you play Planet Coaster or not, but I will say from a uh, from a Planet Coaster player's perspective, me, um, we didn't get really uh, we didn't we never got modding fully, um, and Frontier kind of just straight up came out and said that they would never do it, but we did get modeling, so. Um, we have the TMTK or the Theme Makers Toolkit, which people can go into um, like Maya and Blender, and they can make their own models that way. And we can plop them in like a rock or you know a tree or whatever, like that. But as far as like editing or uh, modding goes, I don't think we'll ever see that. And that is because of Elite Dangerous. I think uh, is what a lot of us have come to the conclusion of. We're pretty much just figured out. 
Um, Elite Dangerous, for those of you that don't know, is uh, Frontier's baby. That's their that's their golden game right there. Um, and okay. It's and uh, yeah, they it's it's constantly online for the most part. And um, if they open that game up, it'll open up a lot of stuff for their code that they don't want being fucked with. Is what it what I've heard multiple times is that it comes down to. Because if they let um because everything runs off the Cobra engine, that's what I was getting to. Everything runs off the Cobra engine, or an iteration of it. The Planet Zoo runs off the Cobra engine, Planet Coaster runs off the Coaster engine. There are two separate entities, from what I know, of the same engine. Um, but if you open up, like, Elite Dangerous to modding or Planet Coaster to modding, then you have, like, a, a key or a gateway into all the rest of the, their games that use Cobra, which is every single one. So, that's my understanding. If someone knows better... Do correct me, but that's that's what I've heard a few different times now. Yogi Bear's older, more chunkier brother, Bruce Willis, yeah. I didn't think Coder adding animals seems um, unlikely at the moment. Yeah, I, definitely animals, right? And then yeah, editing the actual code to get modding in, sure, absolutely. But I could absolutely, I could 100% see um, uh, modeling, modeling it um, put in because they already have the TMTK modeler running and going um, on Planet Coaster. And if you all want to see some uh, examples of what that will look like, you can run over to the Steam Workshop if you don't have Planet Coaster and still just look up the Planet Coaster Steam Workshop and go on, um, you know, the created items and stuff and they have all the, the Theme Makers Toolkit stuff up there. I don't want to do that. That looks bad. Um, so you can go take a look at the uh, models that people are making, you know, and it's just like any game. Um, I know a lot of people from Planet Zoo are um, Sims players. Um, so it's just like custom content for The Sims, so you know how some of it is just like, you know, you live and breathe by X person's custom content whenever they release something, and other people you're like, yeah, that that's not good, but at least you tried there, little guy. Um, that's the same thing, same thing with the Planet Coaster community, and I'm sure the Planet Zoo community. Hold on, I forgot my dog is in its cage, let me listen. Murphy? I thought I heard him pawing at the door. I don't want to. I don't want his little bladder to hurt. He's being such a good boy, the wolf. It's because he's tired. We we ran him this morning with our uh, with my mom's dog, so he got a full morning of playtime. So I knew that he'd be passed out. They got enough uh, coasters and wait with Planet Zoo Planet Coaster. They have enough coasters and rides out. Anyways, I can easily see hundred plus animals soon enough with seventy plus. Uh, um, Wait, well, you did me Planet Zoo. I'm confused. Um, so, that looks good, that looks good. So now he should be able to come to the other side. Let's first finish this. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, bye-bye. <laughs> Wait. We've been watching, I don't know if anyone else watches this on Netflix, but we just started watching Shit's Creek on Netflix. Man, is it funny. I don't know if anyone likes, uh, like, Eugene Levy and that kind of, like, the humor that he's all about, like, uh, Spinal Tap and stuff like that, or Best in Show, but, ah, uh, yeah, they have a show on Netflix called Shit's Creek, and it is so funny. Like, we just started watching it a few weeks ago, and I think we're already on season four or something like that. Yeah, if you're looking for a new comedy or something like that, I really recommend that. And again, if you like the kind of... It's gonna come. You're having a baby. No one's gonna ever see this, but... It's a... With Sims custom content, it's called CC, but in Planet um, Zoo, conservation credits are CC. That could be... Ooh. Well, I think we're gonna go with Leaps. I think we should go with leaps for Planet Zoo. A lot of people were already kind of doing that, and I just kind of picked it up as well. So yeah, I vote leaps instead of CCs because I'm with you. I, I thought of that immediately when people started calling conservation credits CCs. I was like, no, 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 no. I might not play the game, but the CCs are definitely a Sims thing. Definitely, and that community is big enough. We'll it'll, it'll it'll get confusing, and there's gonna be enough crossover between the Sims and Planet Zoo. Um, that'll definitely get confusing. I kind of predicted that it would happen, but I didn't really expect it to this extent. 
um, of the crossover between the, uh, the Sims and the and Planet Zoo, which is awesome because the Sims community is fucking huge. Um, and yeah, more people the better. Come hang out with us. We're cool. I promise. Us Planet series players are cool. <laughs> Our game might be, you know, a little bit different. You gotta get used to the builder and stuff, but we're cool. Um, so we have that. That's now. Let's transfer this over. Let me make sure he can actually use this before I start closing for him. Yes, some he can. Oh, and I think that fixed it. No, it didn't. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is totally from the India or Indian music set here. It's really cool. I like this uh, the vibe that we have going here. You know what? I can actually just take this whole jamma jamma here and bring it on over. And speaking of that, I do understand. I definitely um, sympathize with people just coming over from either The Sims or Zoo Tycoon, even or whatever. So um, while there are just you know a lot of really good tutorials out there, again by Geekism, Palsley, um, S Dan Wolf has some really good ones, uh, Mass Bandit. Um, if, if you're if you have a question or anything like that um, do let me know or let any of us know you know um, especially when it comes down to basic stuff like if you don't know how did you select all those or you know what does this button do whatever let us know it's fun helping people because the more that people play this game and are liking it and enjoying their time the longer the game has legs the bigger the community gets right all about that. We know how to party. Individually places 4,000 rocks. You know, you know what's up. <laughs> At least it's not 4,000 spooky, spooky planks to make a roof. Yep, that's a thing too. It almost might be cool if it could go under it. Yeah. It's gonna move some of the foliage. Army of 4,000. <laughs> Yeah, you see, and I played The Sims 4 for a while, and a lot of it was because um, people in my community were really gracious and amazing and um, gifted me, like, a majority of the packs, which is, man, that's awesome. Um, I wouldn't have bought it once. That's for And, you know, I played it as much as I could, but I just didn't... I just wanted to do so much more. And The Sims were really stupid. I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. Obviously, a lot of people do, and I'm, you know, do you, boo-boo. Absolutely. If you enjoy that game, you keep doing you. I'm glad that you found a game that you can enjoy. But for me, I just kept finding myself going, I can do this in Planet Coaster. Why can't I do this here? Or why don't they have a color wheel? Why are you making me select a certain color set for this? Is this did this game come out, like, not too long ago? There's just a lot of decisions they made with that game, and it's like... Why are you limiting me in this when games that came out before you let me... I don't know. And it seems like their excuse is always like, well, the engine has limitation. And it's like, then why did you put it on such a shitty engine? Are you not EA? Don't you have, like, all the money? And you're really going to tell your community that the game doesn't run that well because of a bad engine? Dude, that's not a good look at all. <laughs> But yeah, I just couldn't get into The Sims that much. Eh, is, is kind of how I, I, I view it. It's eh. You know, it'd be kind of cool if we did it, leave this open. A den under the slope. Yeah, I'm kind of almost wondering if that could be cool too. Um, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Not sure if it's
We're gonna leave that there. As proper color picker, it's still so weird that The Sims doesn't. Yeah, it. They literally took so many steps back. In 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 that game, I don't I don't understand a lot of this, the stuff they did. They took so many steps back. And they're ugh, don't even get me started on the um <laughs> the way they do expansion packs and stuff like that. I think it's borderline criminal. Okay. So, we do that, we do that. We go to Habitat, we place down bedding. He has a little bedding area on this side, yeah? It, it might work, right? Who knows? My favorite, but I uh, <clears throat> fell so far behind that buying all the views. Dude, it'd be like, I, I added it up before the last few that they did, and it would have been like 354. It's no, no more. Oh, man, I can't remember now. If someone wants to, they should go look that up. They should go look up how much it would be right now. Oops. Oopsie poopsie. Very nice. Our Deuterino is looking a good. Oh, I wanted to check one last thing. See if he, there's any escape points, which it was over here before. Nope, that's all good. Cool. Lovely. What? Okay. Lovely, lovely. I think that's. Uh... <laughs> Sims 4 does unfortunately remind me a little of SimCity 2013. Yeah, I agree, uh, because they tried to do clever stuff with the simulation in the game, but did it so dumb way that, yeah, um, right. You could see the, hey, what's up, Mr. Malova? The Lieber Bros, I know, aren't they great? Were, weren't, weren't they great? They died. Um, yeah, there was a lot of just half-baked ideas. I, I, I know what you're saying, though, where it looked like they really had some cool like general ideas of like tying in like the sims to their environments and but it just didn't it didn't work it just feels like such a shallow game and i know people could say the same thing about planet coaster and stuff like that and planet zoo They're like well you know after after you're done doing that it's just it's a shallow game what do you do after that <laughs> i don't know all right. all right all right oh yeah so the last little area you know what before we start this i'm gonna take a quick little break i've been going for about two hours <laughs> let's, uh, let's go on a little break um uh, y'all want to follow an animal or do you want to just have the beer uh yeah we'll follow an animal what do you want to do you want to follow savannah you want to follow the elephant there it is. The elephant. The lions. The bear. Or the mandrills. So, savannah. Elephant. Lions. Mandrills. Or bear. <laughs> and caught up. Oh, thanks, dude. Um, damn, the grizzlies need uh, more room, huh? The original uh, size look good for appearing like uh, the usual reels. I know, but looks great now. We did, and... Um, it's kind of a bummer because I measured it out. I measured it out um, for you. That's a good idea. I'll put you in. Um, yeah, I measured it out exactly to. It was a twenty by twenty, uh, basically enclosure. And um, yeah, Planet Zoo was like, <laughs> "That's so small." I'm like, "Yeah." Um, so elephant, you will see the elephant by uh, by doing this. So cool. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Appreciate it. That's the wrong one. Yeah, but that. So people are like, "Oh, where's this guy at?" Uh, 
Boom. Cool. Hey, again, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. We'll be back in, uh... I don't take a long break, so five-ish minutes, not even. Man driller, man the dr There it is.
There we are. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me uh, catch back up there. I think I bribed the pup with like. Uh, I think I bribed the pup with like an hour's more. <laughs> with like an hour's more of stream. He's he's been in the in the cage there in the crate there for just a, a few minutes, you know, a few hours really. So. Um, um, I don't want to leave him in there too much longer. I get him his walks and uh, all that stuff. So we'll go for about another hour. We're going to get started. Excuse me, after I get caught up on um, chat. We're going to get started with our um, with our uh, wolf wolf encounter after I do this little corner here. So we'll plan on doing this corner and then get started on the wolf, uh, the timber wolf encounter. And uh, then that's going to wrap up the stream for today. So let me get, uh, catch back up here. Do -do 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 -do. High track would be beautiful, uh, drawing some tire trails. I agree. Dress World uh, Evo for I know, right? If I didn't. That's another game. I don't understand the gameplay choices in that. Jurassic World Evolution feels like a mobile game than it does an actual computer game. <laughs> Little Red is safe. That's a good reference there. Um, hoping for a future pack with Gyrus Russo. Gus can do roaming things. Interesting. Um, the Lenter. I'm like, and look at yours too. Thank you. Can I hardly wait to see what you're doing to get in the full game. I'm so excited, dude. Oh my gosh. It's like, I can't believe we have to not have it for another few weeks after this, right? I'm so excited. Though. We're going to definitely jump into um, series right at the top of my head. We're going to jump into Green Hill Zoo, which I think I'm going to combine some stuff from Thornton Zoo and merge it into Green Hill Zoo. If you don't know what Green Hill Zoo is, by the way, those of you that just maybe joined the channel from like uh, Geekism's recommendations or just uh, Planet Zoo in general, um, check out my other playlists on my YouTube channel. There's a, a playlist called Green Hill Zoo, which I built in Planet Coaster, which is a theme park game, but we got enough, um, we got some uh, Theme Maker's Toolkit items for animals and stuff like that. So I was actually able to build a little bit of a zoo um, in, uh, in, the, in that game, so. Um, don't want rides, but I'd be, um, Okay, with a log flume for the upgraded water effects quad bike. Can we talk about Planet Coaster 2? Most uh, zoo like. Thank you, Pippi. I appreciate that. That's definitely right. That's where my where I'm at. If y'all like that, if you're if you're about that, you know the realistic aesthetic, um, the realistic like how a zoo is actually run kind of thing. Um, you know that's. That's what we're all about there. You know, you can kind of see that here where the, the, the habitat's not exactly the full size, but you know, you can see the backstage building. And that's how they kind of do them, right? Oop, I, hear I feel like that. Go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe there button there. I try and do videos just about every day if I can. Um, after the Planet Zoo is done, we should have we should still have videos coming out, um, but they might slow down just a little bit, but um, I still plan on doing a lot. Cool, so this little section, oh yeah, 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 I remember I wanted to, um, we wanted to do like a little cart area almost. Made some tea while you were gone, what kind of tea? An ostrich bit your car once? <laughs> hey. But, uh, chill stream is chill, hey, chill out, man, chill out. Meerkats better be in the game on full release, that'd be amazing. Yeah, uh, mongooses are better, ooh. Will there be weather or seasons? Would love to sit through several hours of gameplay with no visitors and um, and hiding animals. You know, you could do that. Yeah, because um, on the weather, I know seasons. Don't quote me on that. I don't. There might be a biome where the seasons change like uh, like they do in the Midwest or whatever. Um, but don't forget, you can go down here if you do have the game. You can go down here and we can switch it up. Right, we can switch it to rain. Or snow and you can keep it on random and it will randomize um but it very well mu or very much so depends on the biome that you are in i bet this place looks fucking awesome with rain excuse my language wait what am i talking about it's a mature stream um i just i haven't looked over here with rain yet oh it looks so good i love it um, so yeah, it depends on the biomes. Like today they revealed the tropic biome, and that's gonna be hot and humid all the time and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I just wanna hang out here. Just hang out. Working on, um, black bear habitat in the background, but I'll try and pay attention. Various, appreciate that, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Gotcha, Celia. Just think about, uh, some quad bikes. Two guests per quad, right? Unlike the gyrospheres, but in a batch where a door opens in an exhibit and you can ride around, 
the non-lethal animals. You should pitch it. Pitch it to Merlin. Merlin will build it. If they, if they have enough money. Something ain't right here. What is this lady do? Hey, Wallaby, how you doing, buddy? Glad you could catch the, the stream there. That's one thing they learned from uh, Jurassic World, then, uh, that we can appreciate. Sure, sure. Yeah, you know, Jurassic World... I wanted to like that game so much more than I did. I, I actually despise that game, and I don't think I'll ever play it again. Um, just to be brutally honest with you, it's, man, all they had to do was remake Operation Genesis. Oh, wait. But instead, we got like a mobile game where, hey, your security director is upset because you didn't take out his trash last night, so he's gonna let out a T Rex onto your park. It's like, what? You're gonna do, you're gonna let dinosaurs out because I didn't do what you wanted me to do for you? What? It just seems like a really tacky, cheap gameplay feature when they didn't have any gameplay in the game, if I'm being completely honest. So yeah, I mean, I know we have a sandbox mode in that game now, but it's just like, that's really not enough to bring me back. Wow, what's going on here? To bring me back to it, personally. Personally. But I love dinosaurs and I rub, rubbed... And I rubbed Operation Genesis. I loved um, Operation Genesis back in the day, but... It's not so much this title. I guess it's kind of uh, hopeful that they are going to release another one. Um, theoretically, or, or... Possibly. It's uh, It was in the leak. A Frontier leak happened a few months ago and it predicted like Planet Zoo and... Planet Coaster bait or uh, DLCs and stuff like that. I um, mean, it said today there was a Jurassic World Evolution 2 being made. Um, so. Hey. Oh. Never know. I believe it's the uh, Walking Man rather than the. <laughs> it's better to be to make some tea. Nice. Is everyone getting some tea? I don't think I've ever had proper tea. Get it? That was a pun. I didn't even realize I did that pun until halfway through. The amount of people around here that have shitty mufflers or feel the need to like make sure everyone else can hear their car is astounding sometimes. Oh heck, that's the wrong way. Everything's terrible. I thought that was a guest for like two seconds and I was like, bruh, get out of there. <laughs> Been a slow day, uh, so got to catch the last bus home and then uh, left the bike at work. You almost bought um, Jurassic World about uh, 12 times, but each time I see a new review saying not really anything to do, that's what I felt. Um, and I can't force my uh, finger to click buy. If you don't feel like you need to buy it, I don't personally recommend it. Now there are, there's a, there's a diehard uh, group of people that play the game still. Um, and they're, they are still working on it actively and they're improving it and all this other stuff. But the, the core gameplay mechanics of it, I don't enjoy. So, oh, it's a feeder, okay. So, to me, you know, they can edit it all they want, but the, the core gameplay of it, yeah, I don't like. So, it, it's it's not something that intrigues me. No, it is not. Oh, thank goodness I can change the colors. I think I'm just going to make everything kind of poopy brown. Oh, not that. There we go. That can be Poopy Brown. Hi, what's your name, sir? My name's Poopy. Poopy Brown, I tell ya. Poopy, get over here. Poopy, we got a situation for you to, to stumble upon. <laughs> you never bought um, JW purely through watching YouTubers and seeing how it played. The research was horrendous. Agreed. Click and wait, literally like a mobile game. Click this, come back in a few hours. That's how this is, too. And... I don't like that they carried over the research from Planet Coaster and JWE into this the same way, because it's really lazy. 
um, in the last sales. Okay, I may play some more now that playing Zoo Beta is done. Yeah, Keytronic, I was thinking about, I was talking to Estan, um, Estan Wolf about it a little bit, and he, he might be, uh, doing up a, uh, a series when the beta is done and he was saying you know maybe i should think about it too since you know they have a really a good community and stuff but i just don't know if i can bring myself to play it for the whole series i'm just gonna get annoyed halfway through <laughs> i'm just gonna keep going why is he doing why are you doing that stop doing that what are you doing excuse me because here's the thing i would play it on sandbox mode except you have to beat the game to get sandbox mode what? <laughs> Wait, like, does, does Frontier know what a sandbox mode is? Because that's not a sandbox mode. Sandbox mode is just like, hey, here you go, fella, have fun. It's just like, what are you doing? Why, why would you? Don't do that. Stop being more complicated than we need to be. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> just stop it. You're just doing it wrong. Yes, for a latte and they brought me a cappuccino. <laughs> Same thing, right? Yes, for a steak medium rare, not medium. Cuts. There you go. No Dennis Nedry. Yep. Uh uh uh. It's actually uh, Jurassic World that's made me scared for this game. So far, um, is oh yeah, no uh, Pippi. I would um, I, I can't remember if you said you played Planet Coaster at all, but it's definitely it's Planet Coaster with really great animal like management I, I think the animal management and welfare and all that fun stuff i think they've really taken a lot more seriously don't put jurassic world evolution for those of you that haven't been like around frontier as long as um some of us others have been dealing with them and stuff or not i shouldn't say dealing with but you know what i mean um jurassic world evolution is like a totally separate thing compared to like planet coaster planet zoo elite dangerous that was like they you know they were hired out by universal to do it um they were given a boatload of money and a time cons constraint and like it was like they didn't make it was it was their game but i think universal had a lot of there were a lot of people sitting there because you know it was releasing with like a multi-billion dollar movie and all this fun stuff so there was a lot of pressure it made them a fuck ton of money um and which probably helped fuel this game some more um but Dress World Evolution, I can say pretty safely, it wasn't what I don't think they wanted it to be. I think there were a lot of fingers in the in the pot kind of thing, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't really put those there, so this game is far better, yeah. Yes, it is. And Planet Zoo, you got some nice fruit, Drew. I got some good melons. Yeah, Planet Zoo, if you like Planet Coaster and you like animals, you're going to like this game. I got some juicy melons. These actually supposed to are these supposed to fit me? So. Step right up and get the melons. I think I'm playing Zoo Faults because I really like it. It's been a um, long time since it happened. And it's been a long time since I've played a game where I've really wanted to come back home right away and, and play more of it. Or like, I'll stay up really late playing it. I haven't done that since Planet Coaster. So, yeah, I'm, I am I like it a lot. And when the bait is done, I'm like, it's gonna be like, but what do I do now? <laughs> Excuse me, I keep you coming. I wanna put a, a planter behind this. I hope that made everyone everyone yawn. You know what? Heck it. If I'm going to be tired, everyone's going to be tired. Join me, shall you? Join me? Shall you? Is that Adam the Boo? <laughs> you can tell what YouTube videos I just got done watching. Playing Plank Cook is of uh, Jurassic World, but then I found uh, John T. There you go. Nice. A latte is all milk, right? I'm gonna say yes. Too many chefs, yep. Uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. 
We've got Planet Coaster for falling in love with uh, the lady, Sylv. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, then I started playing. I just sat there for two hours and built nothing, cried, and went back to their videos. That is common. That is very common. I've had um, in my videos several people uh, comment on whatever and just kind of be like, how do I do everything that you're doing? And it's not the fault. I, I, I hate it because people are just like, oh, I suck at this game. And it's like, honestly, it's, it's not you. It, it, it's a frontier thing. Because they are terrible at tutorials. Maybe this game will be better. So far, it's not. In the one campaign that I've played, if I, um, I've watched new players and they're just like, okay, yeah, that's all cool, but how do I build a building? Yeah, the, the tutorials are just shit, man. Whoever, like, or lack thereof, they, well, they rely on the community for tutorials, is what I th I'm pretty sure is what it means. Because, like, um, Ruble Trillions, he uploaded a great tutorial set for building a planet coaster, um, and, and everything else. And, you know, Jaunty obviously did, and a bunch of other people, and it looks like they're doing the same thing for planet. Love it or hate it, so. But, yeah, I, I think that that's, that's more of a fault of frontier for not having a good uh tutorial to teach players the basics that they need there we go just cover it up what's what what mulch what are you talking about I don't see any mulch. Half past 11 in ye old England. England! <laughs> Time for crumpets? What the f What's a crumpet? I've heard that word before. Is it just like a pastry? Is it just like a pastry? Gonti, I had like 70 hours in uh, Planko. Mainly career mode. Now I'm 400 in. About 12 months. It'll It sneaks up by me. Then you build in Druton, I dumped a lot of versions of the uh, restaurants and rides. Yeah, I, I liked what you did in uh, Druton with the, uh, the the tower and stuff like that. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I tell a lie, I just finished my cheese and crackers! Bring on the nightmares! Oh god, where's your wife? Is she listening? Mrs. Malova! A, she is a saint and an angel, and, and you, you, need to, you just need to be better, Malova. <laughs> she, it was a little bit ago, but she messaged me when you were away, and I was like, that's heckin' adorable, dude. What are you doing with that creep? <laughs> you were in, um, C5G community for all my buildings time. I got to advance, which is where I wanted to be. Hmm. Crumpets aren't that good. Hey, at least you're honest, right? She being honest. But yeah, what are they, though? I actually don't know what it is in general. I don't know if I want to put a tree back here. If we are going to put a tree back here, it'd be a birch tree. It'd be a birch tree. They might be too big. Or it might, like, go Oh, my God. It almost fits perfectly, except we need somebody to get rid of those branches up there. Oh, my God. She's asleep. Shh. No one wake up, Mrs. Malova. No one wake up, Mrs. Malova. She's a saint. She's a saint. We can't wake her up. She has to have her rest for tomorrow when she'll be all day with Mom. It's tiring. I can barely do two hours. <laughs> Where I live, we have oat cakes, which are like pancakes, but not sweet, and you load them with molten cheese. It's the molten cheese part, so. But, oat cakes? Ooh. Our bread that terrifies people with <laughs> a trifle Um, I got to bring home from work because it's a good throw. I'm not going to eat all that. That's a lot of cake, though. So that's a lot of them. It's a lot, a lot. No, I want the, um, I need the lavender. I don't know what they call it in game, but it, it may as well be lavender. What do they call it in game? Alpine? It's probably the actual name. 
Not lavender. Is this still the Planet Zoo soundtrack? Oh, look at that little corner. Um, There's a bread version of a trumpet. Let's see. Okay. Of a muffin. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love the... the <laughs> Keep doing different def definitions. I want to hear more definitions of it that, that it's not. Let's hear everything that it's not. Oh, yeah, no, it sounds, it sounds like some bread there. All right. <laughs> Good to have you back, Malova. It was too quiet around the, uh, not just my channel, but, you know, any, any, especially John T's. We, I got, you know, it's good to your back. Keep, keep him in check, right? He's getting a, he's getting a big head with this Planet Zoo stuff, but now that you're back, I think you'll uh, you'll rein him in, right? <laughs> Just kidding. There we go. We'll put down some more nettle for the Alpine current. Do I use the nettle or the current? Use the nettle. Basically weeds, but you know. They're great looking weeds. So that, that, no one's gonna come over here so we can actually uh, fence this in a little bit too. English uh, energy drink and I ran out of milk, so no more. Ah, who needs milk? I know I just, I just said a blaspheme. I know I did. If there's one thing I know about the English and like their teas and stuff, it's like if you say something about milk, right? It's like, ah! <laughs> For a physically attractive person. Oh, as in a nice bit of carpet. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Uh, I've heard that before. Definitely. I always thought it was referring to the food. But like a nice piece of tail. That was crude. This is a little bit too tall. Yeah, I don't want it that tall. Maybe. There we go. But keeping your check is a <laughs> talk commission. You, you should work off commission totally. <laughs> Get percentage of videos. <laughs> Excuse me. If I write Planet Zoo and actually build anything, get me some better pit my- Yeah! I love that series. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's such a great little series. And from a content creator standpoint of view, it's brilliant because you can do that forever if you want it, really wanted to. I thought about just just totally just ripping them off and just doing like hit my zoo. You see, instead of just the exhibit, I'll I'll go one further and I'll top them and I'll do the whole zoo. No, <laughs> I know someone's gonna do it though, but um, I. Not wish to do. Oh, actually, I do need to have one there. And can... Tea isn't even that great. I don't like tea. I've tried it on several occasions, different ones, you name it. I think the only one I kind of like is green tea. Redbush tea? Black tea is good for you when you feel sick. Um, soothes your throat with milk. It's too heavy on your uh, neck. I think that's the only time I've had tea is when I was sick. I think that's when I had either green or pearl? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so there's multiple entrances into this little area sanctioned shank off. If you can't tell, I have some uh, serious delay going on. Yeah, I, I did tell that. Yeah, I did. That's all good. Dude. There's like a whole ocean between us, so. Adds the lights, yes. Exhibit on Mixer. I, know, I keep forgetting to put that in. We'll see if I ever. But I could do it for like a live stream thing. I always thought that would be kind of fun to do for like a live stream. To oh that now it's done. Video pause. Keep watching. Yeah. Oh, it's Planet Coaster, World's Fair Park music pack music. Let's go back. <laughs> go back and listen to. You. There we go. Right, 
Hey, if y'all have uh, subscribed during this time, thank you so much. I don't know why the alerts aren't going on, but I just realized some people have subscribed and it hasn't gone off, so thank you. Thank you. This is great. hate it so much. This is a great idea. Do you feel like buying the uh, game just to make an absolute trash exhibit on new accounts and break <laughs> the results you know? Yeah, because you, yeah, right, right, right. It fixes traffic. Yes, um, Biffa. Yes, that, and that's when we, him and I were, or, uh, when Jonathan and I were, he was talking about that. He brought, he brought him up that, you know, that was a big inspiration for it and stuff like that. So, absolutely. 110%. I watched those and I didn't even play City Skylines that much. So, this whole little area is kind of just buffing me. Be a little fuffy. There we go. Yeah, Biffa plays, uh huh. Make sure iced tea, that's right, iced tea. Yeah, his are his are really good. I watch him for cities and uh <clears throat> right, what's his what's the dude's name? He's like a his thing that attracts me to is first is that like he's a real city planner or something like that, and now he plays the game. Actually, I don't want to so, um, <clears throat> But yeah, it's like City Planner plays City Skyline. It's, it's interesting stuff. My flight complaints. Oh yeah, the new uh, yeah, I forgot that that's coming out. I never played those in the past, but I might play it now. Okay, la, hello, my friend, la. That's, that's my life. Sam Burr, yes, yeah. You watch him too, Malova. I like I like his stuff a lot. Whenever I get a chance, the YouTube algorithm sucks though, and it. I only get him his stuff like or City Skylines stuff recommended to me every once in a while. Instead, it's like, hey, did you watch the new Stephen Colbert? It's like, dude, I've never watched Colbert since like the Daily Show. Could you not? And maybe show me my subscriptions, YouTube. You know. going back on to plan code um to finish up projects and um but not really no kind of done with plan code a few other skylanders but i don't know traffic ends up the same right bear in mind used to design junctions for a living oh did you then i could see where you would be like uh-huh cool buddy <laughs> um yeah i i i know what you i i can see where you're coming from 100 percent I think that's why it's interesting to some of us because like it's just like working through it's like it's problem working right it's just working through the problem and the game doesn't behave like it's you know real life is supposed to and stuff like that so it's just meandering through there they are meandering through the uh the stuff that it gives you i, I guess i'm spitballing you know because um i'm with you I, I can watch it for a little bit but then after a while i'm like mm -hmm. You built that traffic circle. Now when they do interesting ways of doing it, then I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm yawning so much today. Not even tired. Not even a little bit. I'm staying up all night, man. Maybe some Planet Zoo update videos. Oh yeah, they'll still be, like I was saying earlier, there'll definitely, absolutely still be uh, Planet Zoo videos. 
Um, whether like I have some back catalog recorded of this zoo and stuff, so we'll keep going forward with that. There'll be a cinematic video of all this stuff coming out. Um, up whenever there's yeah um, updates, any of that stuff. Yeah, there'll be um, news. We'll be doing all the the news and stuff. So absolutely, I thought I put back some over here. Too. There's a special episode in this series because it should, it should unpip um, delayed your cells to trash it. <laughs> well, I know you won't do delayed for sure, but um, yeah, actually, that's kind of a funny idea. That could almost be a fun content. Well, community challenge too, absolutely. Oh, I don't want to just make it a content creator thing. Um, but like a fun content creator thing for like those of us that kind of like pride ourselves on trying to build, you know, detailed and better stuff to try and build like a really crappy, you know, exhibit to send into them or something like that. I don't know. Let's play off that idea. <laughs> Trash with style. There you go. Don't open Discord? Stop. <laughs> We're gonna ban Wallaby. Wallaby is officially banned for sending me a gif of a dude uh, yawning in Discord. How dare you. How dare you, sir and or madam. <laughs> Plays about YouTube on a YouTube stream. Channel disappears. Channel. <laughs> is your zoo lacking protesters? Send them into my Jake Zoo. Yes. This game is kind of what I've been waiting for. Oh my God, Celio. Yes. I think you're typing from your phone or something. <laughs> Woo! Listen to that. <laughs> That's a good one there. What was I gonna add? Um, rocks. Rocks. Jake my zoo. I love that. Jake my zoo. Damn it. Now I actually want to make it a series, but I also don't because it's literally John D's series just with a whole zoo instead of just an ex. <laughs> Jake my zoo. I can already see the intro and everything too. It would be like, you know, y'all remember the show Cribs? It'd be like the intro to Cribs where they like walk into that mansion or whatever. <laughs> I can see it though. I didn't do any of that kind of stuff for the Planet Zoo beta like intros or anything. I just kind of was like, VIDEO! <laughs> Never left just cooking true. Ooh, I gotta start thinking about food too. Welcome to Jake My Zoo. Look at these animals, got a little space to move. Yes, yes. It doesn't like me typing one bit, I swear I'm better on my computer. It was just, a, it, it got hung up. It, it's, it's okay. I've done it a million times as well before. Yeah, I know you're cooking there. Uh, totally writing Jake My Zoo down for April Fools. I didn't even see that before. Yeah, Jake My Zoo is. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, that should be enough rock. Work. Work that rock. Work it, work it. I think Masked and uh, N7 are gonna throw a copyright claim on Jake My Zoo. <laughs> I just feel like I want to put more shit over here. It's not even stuff at this point. It's just like, how much more shit can I put on? 
No, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Everyone just don't look at it. It's fine. Accept it, embellish it, embrace it, move on. Except I lied. We're gonna do one more thing. Oh my god, that's pretty. Alright, move on. Torts. Ooh, some tortellini. Sounds nice and simple, which I like. Oh yeah, this planter. Who my zoo? <laughs> Are you aware we need to discuss my wage? Oh, well, that's right, the pesky wage. Extensive, extensive maze between him and his lunch. Three hours later, he's made it around the first bend. <laughs> you can't do that stuff though, right? I mean, totally, all you have to do is just make a big old box null barrier. Yeah, you can make a maze, no problem. I'm gonna wait for the cheetahs. All right, I'm doing that one. I'm doing I'm doing animal races. John, so you can keep you can keep jink jink my or what was <laughs> what's the color I forgot? Jink my zoo. I'm doing animal races. Although I'm sure every other YouTuber and their YouTuber and their mother has already thought of that idea. <laughs> I'm surprised that it didn't take off more with uh, Planet Coaster, actually. When the Ghostbusters pack came out, not racing animals, but racing uh, vehicles. There was no tracks that came out or anything. I was like, actually, I think I was talking to Jaunty about it. Um, maybe it was someone else. Um, but yeah, or no, I think you mentioned it in your video and I totally agree. Yeah, like I totally expected there to be like raceways uploaded. Although it, it makes sense because we couldn't upload our blueprint over to um, terrain. So that would make it a little bit more difficult to have to literally build out a racetrack with like roof pieces and stuff like that. This game though, you can, oh man, you can blueprint terrain. Bruh. I hope we get a vehicle in this game. What if we get like the four by four vehicle to race? Oh my gosh, I'm totally making raceways. <laughs> totally making racetracks. That's gonna be fun as heck. If Jink My Zoo happens, Pippi gets the credit. I'm happy with the name credit only, and 15% of the income it generates. Oh, okay, I'll be sure to give you that three cents. <laughs> oh, wait, it's going on John T's channel. We'll give you that. <laughs> Those, yeah, no, exactly, that too. Exactly, you, you already know. You and you know. <laughs> A tortoise maze now? Yes, let us know how it goes. I feel like I want to put more shit over here. Yep. <laughs> Frontier's motto since Planko. I need more shit. <laughs> That's absolutely the, uh, the, uh, the motto for Planet Coaster Builders. What else can I throw over here? <laughs> that's what, you know, what it comes down to. That's what theme parks do, right? Uh, essentially, we're, we're just making a themed area, and, you know, we're looking at what real ones do. No, no amount of, sp no space is wasted, right? If it can be. I mean, you look at rehabs in, in theme parks. No space and no thing is wasted. They reuse everything if they can. All that toilet block? Well, we can reuse it. Sir, the theme is moving from generic to space themed. Well, I'll call it an intergalactic bathroom now. And then it's, we can still keep it. Nothing goes to waste. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, that's fine. Oh, to see a cheetah run as an enrichment item? That would be cool. I want to see if they can uh, go full sprint in the enclosures. Not the ones I'm going to build. I think I'm going to do one zoo like that. I'm going to do Green Hill Zoo, where it's a continuation of, uh, or redoing the WD-40, of the uh, zoo that I did in Planet Coaster, which is the ultra-realistic take, which will take bits of uh, Thornton Zoo here and uh, mix in what I already did with Green Hill Zoo. Again, I'm going to plug that again. If you all haven't watched Green Hill Zoo, I'm actually really proud of that series. I didn't finish it because it's Planet Coaster and who's crazy enough to do that? Um, but I am really proud of what I was able to do with uh, Planet Coaster uh, to build a zoo. So definitely go check that out. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get a big enough area to actually do any, to see it run full force because I'm definitely going to still stick in that. That annoying realism build. Actually, I, I love cattails. I think they're so pretty. It doesn't really make 
sense to use them here because they usually go against like a creek and stuff like that. But you know what? They're pretty, so I'm gonna put it in. That's my that's my logic and rationale behind them. It's, it's pretty. Put it in. You know, I realize that's actually not a bad thing because I have been really uh, all over the place. I definitely forgot to hit record during the stream. But a lot of the stuff we did was just a little detail work and funking with the uh, barracks. I have a pet tortoise genuinely. Mrs. Maliva woke me up this afternoon because he was trying to make love to hit. <laughs> did he make the little, you know, the little tortoise noise at the end when he was all done? <laughs> Hey. It's like a, it's like a, oh, not gonna do that joke. <laughs> I'm gonna make a safari zoo, like a game, like a planet safari. Oh, race tricks? Get my quad bikes in the game too then, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could build something like a Chessington World of Adventure amusement park and zoo. Oh yeah, like bush gardens and stuff. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. It would be, um, it would definitely be cool, um, but I also respect and like that we have two separate entities, um, because you, those, you know, World of Chessington, Bush Gardens, um, there's a few, there's a park around here that kind of approaches that level, not close with, like, theming, but, uh, the type of thing it is, um, but I think that in a, if you look at it from a gameplay aesthetic and design process of, an, uh, again, the main thing being a game, um, and with the way that it was designed and how comprehensive it is, I think it's okay to keep it separate. I think there's enough between the two of them to warrant, you know, enough gameplay, so. So sure, you know, I, I hear, I see, well, trust me, I see it all the time, especially on Reddit. Uh, people are like, well, we had Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 wild. Why can't we have... It's like, dude, that game came out 10 years ago. More now. It came out like 13, 14 years ago. It's like, they're not the same game. They can't do the same things. And if I sound a little jaded and irritated at this, because we had to go through the same thing at Planet Coaster with people saying like, well, we had this in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. They can't even do it in Planet Coaster. It's like, bruh. That's like... That's not even close to the same, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that's not, that's not how that works. It's, it's, you know, game development has evolved immensely in the last, since RCT3, or RCT3, RCT2, you know, it's, um, so to say, like, oh, well, this game did this, well, yeah, well, that's cool, that's a different game, bro. That's a totally different game. Make the noise too in uh, Giant Cell. <laughs> um, Wallaby, um, Mr. Domez. Domez, if you're still hanging here, what's up? Mr. Domez has already started to build a, ro a roller coaster out of the planks of wood. It's uh, If you go on my uh, Discord and go on the Planet Zoo Share and Critique or whatever section, you can see it there. Malova, what did you say? Why did it hide you? You said penis. Okay, we can show that. We can show the word penis. It's fine. What is it? West Midland Safari Park? Oh, there you go. I think uh, Game of Beaver took JW as far as possible to an animal preserve reserve. Hopefully Planet Zoo will allow uh, safer-esque parks. Rutenborg? RCT3 Wild's pretty shallow too. Yeah, because they were already... Um, Fisherman, hey buddy! Good to see you here. Um, they were already pushing that as far as they could as well, I think, too. But it was, it was really shallow. I barely remember the wild expansion part of it. Um, actually, I do think that was a couple of times. How's it going, Mr. Fisherman RCT? If y'all don't know Fisherman, he is a fantastic Planet Coaster player. And back in the day, speaking of RCT3, he was an amazing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 player as well. So. Um, he does upload stuff on his channel every once in a while, and maybe he'll play some zoo. Maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, everyone go, uh, definitely go check him out. There's, where's the modern... There's must be centerpieces. Oh, Nope, well, I'm just gonna go take it from over. Yeah. 
that is questionable. Right. I I I don't have a problem with how Planet Coaster came out at all. Actually, I, I think it did the best. Uh, the best. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have too much to complain about with uh, Planet Coaster at all. That's what I was looking for. I don't know where this. <clears throat> I really don't. If I wanted to nitpick, I guess I could, but. Yeah, I mean, fuck. Any game that I put more than a thousand hours, let alone. I don't have Steam up, but close to 4,000 hours, I cannot really uh, shed complaints too much. I'm um, good, dude. Good. Planet Water, yeah. Thanks for making me feel old. You're welcome. I think it's around that. At the time, we're crazy good. Yeah, especially when the custom content got um, added in and stuff like that. Absolutely. Alright, I'm done with that area. I don't want to look at it anymore. Let's move on. <laughs> I think Planet Coaster was uh, Godsend when RC. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing, right? That's that's the thing. That's it. Alright, so what time is it? That's the hour. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get it set up to where I want this to be. Oh, I hope the path works. It doesn't. Dude, what is the issue? Come on. Railings, railings. I don't have flat lines. Oh my god, it's gonna do me up. <laughs> obstruct, 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 obstruct. By what? By what? By what? I think that's a big thing with the, the pathing system that would help. Obstruct it. But, but keep going. Tell me. Tell me more information. What are you obstructed by? Did you highlight and like let me know? That was something I always thought would be good in like Planet Coaster when it has stuff like that, like obstructed or terrain too uneven for path. Okay, that's cool. You gave me the baseline of information, but now I need to know more. Where is the terrain too uneven for the path? Where is it getting obstructed? So like right here, like it could be as simple as like this barrier needs to move over a little bit, which is what I think. Um, or we're gonna do English. Let's get time you out. Is that enough? You said. I don't care to know what you said. But you can come back and say it in English if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's because the barrier. If I put this out here, I can do that, but I can't connect it back. bit for clumped. Lower it down by the button. Maybe it's too wide. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna meet her real quick. Okay, they left really quick. There's my neighbors. You've joined the stream before you know that my neighbors Fortunately, have a ridiculous, there it goes, a ridiculously loud muffler problem right now. I'm gonna say it's a problem because there's no way that someone would pop their car in. <laughs> no! What are you obstructed by? Is it obstructed because of the. No, because it can run through the barrier over here. Okay. Okay, we got that, we got that. Now it's just this last one. Yeah, really not sure what's going on with this, but hey, this works, this works. Whoops. Um, try moving the donation burden first. Path objects are a bit of a bitch, it seems. Oh, that's a good idea, I didn't even think of that. Okay, if this doesn't work, then yeah, we're gonna jump to doing that. Okay, let me try that. Having a battle with my language teacher on how many languages you can say hello in. Let's say you lost. 
Okay, you lost. I said it. I said it. You made me do it, and I did it. We try moving the barrier. What made you stuck here? What made you move? What if I got rid of you. Yeah, so I, I mean, I don't code or know anything at all when it comes to that, but I just think that would be a little bit more helpful, you know? Especially like in instances like that where it's like obstructed. Okay? And if it like, you know, like this is the only, this is what was obstructed on it. Just this itty bitty corner piece right there. That was it. It would have been great if it was just highlighted and be like obstructed by this. Or, you know, or objects in red highlighted are obstructing your build or whatever. Again, I don't know fucking shit for shit. <laughs> when it comes to coding that in, but to me, it just kind of seems like I'm easy. No, it's I don't know shit for shit. That's it. It's just all the time. I don't know shit for shit. You know that. I remember having a battle with Oops. Um, time to move the null then. Yeah. Fix the null post. <laughs> 10 points whoever knows that movie <laughs> alright there so now we got that <clears throat> is there any chance that all that Planet Zoo Aquariums won't be a thing seems almost a certainty I would um I don't know I think I would put money on it but a piece of me almost feels like they would maybe make that it's own game if they wanted to do that I don't know that they would release it as full-on aquariums. I could see us getting a modded small exhibit. <clears throat> Excuse me, a, a small modded, uh, a modded small exhibit <clears throat> where it's like filled with water and looks like an aquarium, and we just plop that down, and then go to the small or the animal trading market, and then plop in like fish. So maybe they'll call it an aquarium, but I don't think that we'll be able to do like habitat builds of aquariums. Um, I think that would require its own separate programming and stuff like that that would maybe be a little bit too uh, no bueno, I guess, is what I'm getting at. So, but yeah, again, I think we'll see like penguins and maybe other um, aquatic animals, but not like blonde aquariums. Planet Water Park. I think you can see that in Planet Coaster 2. Butterfly enclosures with birds, I'd love that. I would absolutely love that. All right, so what I want to do for the... Yeah, and I started planning it already. What are y'all doing? Just hanging out? All right, just hang out. So what I want to do for the wolves enclosure here is this is actually going to be a big one. This is going to be a big enclosure. My idea, like lore, I'm always thinking, even though this is a beta park and... We're getting rid of it soon and yada yada. I'm always thinking lore in my head when I'm building. So the lore behind this area is that it just went under like a brand new re refurbishment for the most part. And that's why it looks so sleek and new and kind of brand new and stuff like that. Um, and they kind of redid the bear habitat a little bit, but mainly added on this like new enrichment area in this like glass box. It's like the new big thing. Um, so this originally was like kind of older. So that's why it kind of is a little bit smaller. But they also added on like this new Timberwolf area and that, at Brookfield Zoo, which is my home zoo, um, when they added on the Timberwolf area, they did they did it really, really cool. They did it really big. There's like, um, it's kind of hard to explain because it's sanctioned off into two areas. There's like the, the Timberwolf ex, um, in, a habitat and enclosure. And then there's like a little bit of a barrier, but um, there's openings for the Timberwolves to go. Just for the humans, we can't really see it too well. But then it opens up into an entire woods that was just a natural woods in, um, outside of the zoo. Um, I think they may probably put in certain plants and stuff if they had to. Um, but yeah, it opens up into just like this huge acreage of woods. And there's a path, a guest path that goes all the way around it. And it's like a one, like a mile and a half, a mile long path that you walk along, like a trail. And, um, yeah, you can kind of look into the woods and there's fences and stuff. And every once in a while, you'll just see something like darting back in, in the back. And it's like called Timberwolf, Timberwolf Woods or something like that. And it's really cool if you can catch them like out there hanging out and stuff. So like, I wanted to do that same idea where we're going to have the main habitat, main viewing area here. But then I kind of wanted it to open up back here where this, the terrain and ground is kind of, um, punked with, messed with. 
<clears throat> I wanted it to uh, be the Timberwolf uh, woods, basically, and have like a small path going around it as well. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with there. Um, I'm explaining that all to you because you're not going to see it until, to uh, not tomorrow, the day after, because I'm going to be wrapping up the stream now. That was a good, that was good timing, wasn't it? That was good, that was good. Explain to you everything that we might be building and then wrap the stream up. I'm going to help you out here, lady. I can't help you out because you're just stuck. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up. I can hear my puppy starting to, he's starting to get a little bit rambunctious and that is understandable because he is 13 weeks old, 14 weeks old. He has the bladder of a peanut and um, that's understandable. So I'm going to go hang out with him and eat some dinner. I'm going to come back and build all that stuff I just talked to you all about. Oh yeah, this is a fun stream. Thanks so much everyone for hanging out on the uh, the old YouTube stream here. Again, I normally stream on Mixer. I just wanted to stream on YouTube today uh, because it's the last day of the planet Zoo Beta. <laughs> what are we going to do for a month? Um... So yeah, um, if you normally um, don't follow me on uh, Mixer or anything like that, um, same name over there if you type in Beyond Your TV. Go ahead and you know look me up on Mixer. It's a it's another streaming platform. Um, but I am going to be maybe talking to some people, getting opinions, and kind of thinking about maybe just switching over to YouTube full time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, um, but yeah, hey, if you have uh, if you've been hanging out here and you haven't subscribed already, do be sure to do that to get updates on this zoo and all the fun stuff there. And, uh, hey, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. Wallaby, have a good night there. Um, let me just, actually, let me catch up with the, I'll catch up with the last little bit of comments here before I know. Planet Pornographer? I'm waiting for you to design that one. The closest we'll get to an aquarium, um, are bears eating fish out of the water feeder. There you go. Yep, yep. Yep, so. I believe it would be too difficult looking at the work they've done with uh, the water already and how it rests against the glass walls. The volumetric, yeah. You just need to be able to fill it up. Both kind of need a lot of room in this game, says they're very territorial and if they get too close to kill each other. Yeah, so maybe that's a real... I'm going to do... I'm going to look up some stuff while I'm eating dinner on Timberwolves in their area. I kind of want to get it right if I can. That'd be cool. Do a vlog at the zoo. You always mention it's overdue. I've done it already. There's already a vlog of it. <laughs> uh, Virus, hey, always good seeing you, my friend. Um, it was always me. Fun stream, yes. Oh, yeah, so thanks so much, everyone. And yeah, that, that is true. Uh, there you go, buddy. I'll show that one. I don't. He blocked the word mixer. That's so funny. I love it. YouTube is so petty. Um, so, yeah, all right. Hey, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. I appreciate you all as always. I'm going to let it kind of sit here and watch. You can watch the bear for just another minute. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, everyone. Appreciate it as always. Have a good one.